hello everyone. This is this is it. This is the first episode of the One Piece Dungeons Dragons podcast. I'm here with uh, Lost Paws Noble. Hello, how's it going? What's crack? I'm here with Tekken. Hi, mateys. Uh, I'm here with Too Spooky. Howdy, lads. <laughs> and I, I'm here with Briggs from All Day Anime. What up, Chad, lads? You almost forgot again. You almost uh, forgot again. <laughs> <laughs> um, the only person here who's played D&D before besides me is Tekken. So for a lot Hi. of these people, it's their first experience in the world of Dungeons and Dragons. Rustage, did you tell them about the initiation? No, we should, we should, not, tell we should not tell them about that special thing they have to do or else they might get afraid. Yeah, I, I think we might get banned on Twitch if too many of us are naked oh. at once. I, I, I still have the scars from when I had to get initiated, yeah. Yeah. Thanks I'm for scared. Thanks for sending me the video, by the way. It was for, oh, God. Yeah, uh, well, you know. For anyone who's interested, we are just running 5th edition Dungeons & Dragons, but we've removed the elements that wouldn't exist in uh, the One Piece universe, like elves and uh, magic and stuff. But And we are homebrewing a devil fruit system, but everyone here, are, they're shitty pirates. They don't have devil fruits. Uh, they're like the shittest pirates. They're like starting out. They're like... okay. okay. We're, we're ranked higher than Foxy. I mean, come on. No, 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 no. No, holy shit, you are not. You are not ranked higher than Foxy. Are you kidding me? You are of the levels of the mountain pirates that pirates that Shanks beats in episode one or whatever in oh, the first God. chapter. No, no, no. Higama still ranks higher than Foxy. I have yeah. a different Actually, ranking. no, no. You, you, are not higher than, you are not higher than the mountain bandits. They have a bounty. You guys don't have a bounty yet. <laughs> oh, God. Well, so we're like the mountain bandits, like minions, like the little guys. That, like, oh, kind of one all right, fine. But yeah. we have cool yeah. outfits. That's all that matters. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. I was, yeah. Cool. I was just cool. waiting for Tekken to be like, well, actually, in episode like, chapter 9, <laughs> well, the, 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 the fucking the mountain guy. bandits come back and they actually Yoko level and it was like they <laughs> pretended to lose the shot. Uh, well, in chapter 912, that's when they were talking about Ace at Wano. So, damn it, why do I know this? <laughs> uh, anyway, um, if you don't know anything about One Piece, that's also fine. The It's sort of an original story. Everyone's original. They're not like playing as Luffy. They're playing as um, their own characters in the One Piece universe. So... It will and be... this takes place uh, before, like all that, like Luffy was even born yeah. and stuff. Right? It takes place right after, like a few years after Goldie Rogers executed. Spoilers, and but uh, a few years before Luffy sets off in his journey. So in that like ten year gap, it's a ten year gap. Tekken? It's a twenty four year gap, but okay. All right, somewhere in that twenty four year gap, this takes place. So there you go. Uh, m if they do come across a character that does exist in universe, they'd probably be a child. In, in this time frame, like Frankie would be a little kid, Robin would be a little mm -hmm. kid, Brooke would still be well. No, Brooke's still in the Florian Triangle, regardless. So it doesn't really <laughs> Brooke's <matter>. dead. <laughs> Rick is already dead. Yeah. Brooke's dead as fuck. It's set in the South Blue because uh, there's not a lot there, so we have freedom. We have the chat here, so people can see the roles. We might as well begin. So I'm going to start with an introduction, and then you guys will introduce your characters. So, um, all of you, open your eyes. You're lying shipwrecked on a beach of an abandoned island. You remember mm. a typhoon hitting your ship and completely decimating it. Mm. Uh, some of you have wounds and scars sort of covering your bodies and you're, you oh. feel a bit dizzy as you open your eyes and see uh, fragments of discarded ships thrown about the beach. Oh. Um, <laughs> you really get against it. Oh. Um, oh. Should we first introduce uh, Tekken, who is the captain? I'll bring up his little guy. So my character is William, and uh, Eminon is my last name, which it's it's a joke if you'd see that. But anyway, um, so I'm a rogue. I'm a swashbuckler rogue. You know, that's from like an extra book. That's from Xanathar's. I'm a charlatan. Basically, I just wander from town to town, island to island, and you know, perform various card tricks. I'm a swindler, so to speak. Um, Probably the big thing that I did is there was one town I was in and there was a lord there and I'm like, ooh, well that's easy pickings and I ran afoul of him and, and some other characters as well that really just want me dead in my head on a pike, so uh, yeah. Uh, how old is your character again? Uh, I put myself as like the same, like like probably like 28. 28 yeah. roughly, yeah. He's a swindler, he's also the captain of the crew, he's Captain William. Uh, yes. I'm a Captain William. Uh, sort of by the fact that nobody else wanted to be the captain. <laughs> <laughs> it is uh, quite a bit of responsibility, but I do believe that I can guide my mates to victory. Apparently not, because we're shipwrecked on a damn island, so I didn't right. do my job right. <laughs> I'll do this. Okay. 
Uh, let's go over to Two Spookies character now. Alrighty. So, I am Verona, aged 22. I recently decided to become a pirate after, uh, I'm not going to go too into the backstory of my character here, but let's just say that my father used to be a marine captain and some bad stuff happened to him. And now I'm trying to find the truth of why he was slain. And I'm also the navigator of the crew. Not a very good one. I'm a fighter role. I specialize in ranged, uh, ranged attacks, but I'm not that great. <laughs> uh, nobody is right now. Uh, and then next we've got uh, Lost Pause, Noble, your character. Duros. Sure. Hello! Welcome, my name is Duros. I am a former knight, and I try to protect the people, but one unfortunate day, when I was doing my duty and trying to protect the peace, I was betrayed by the navy itself. Cut down, scarred, left for dead. And now I wish to protect the people of my own volition by becoming a pirate. Because the navy itself is, well, one thing that cannot be changed and will be always be the, the same. But the pirate has a free life. And I wish to seek out my own free life and do what I wish to do. Well, perfect. You did a fucking first character. <laughs> Applause. <laughs> And then finally, Briggs. What up, everybody? I'm Ragnar. I'm a 43-year-old barbarian. Um, I'm pretty good at swinging an axe, chop a lot of wood. Um, I'm going to probably be the shipwright of the crew since I built a lot of houses back in my day. I'm trying to uh, start, a, uh, start a new life at sea and go on a cool adventure with the boys. You also, I also love beer. You also have uh, terrible perception and wisdom. He rolled terribly. And so he doesn't have object permanence. <laughs> so anything that's not immediately in his line of vision, he doesn't think it is there. So if there's someone yeah, I'm, smaller I'm, than I'm... him, he doesn't know they're there unless they make them look down. And most people are smaller than Ragnar. I'm a, I'm a tall barbarian who's not the smartest. Although I am smart in a few things, but I know nothing of the world. So I'm hoping to learn, to learn more. And, and that's the crew. So you guys uh, immediately wake up after a typhoon hitting your ship. You you see the okay. beach is strewn with dead bodies. Some of them being like pirates that you had helping you on your ship. You know, like lesser pirates. Yeah. They're dead now. Uh, they're all fucking Aww. dead. But you also Pretty see uh, remnants like of Jimmy. <laughs> lots and lots of like navy bodies scattering the, the, um, the beach as well. M most of them also dead. Uh, but as you look up, you see a... Uh, a sort of wounded girl. She's got like frizzy pink hair, uh, but like a black hood and a black cloak. And she lays on the ground, bounded in rope. And directly above her, a man dressed in navy uniform has one foot pressed against her, like her face, and is holding a pistol up against her. Uh, he also looks wounded. It looks like he's got a bit of like wood, ch like wood chips sticking out of his arm. Behind him stands another another man, also holding his gun. And you can sort of hear him vaguely in the distance. And he's yelling, uh, I know we have to take you back alive, but I ain't afraid to shoot if you cause me any more problems. I'll just report it as a naval accident. So don't move, I, I swear. Um, what do you guys want to do? It's your first opportunity to do something. Okay, well, um... Well Oh, you're the captain. I'll let you decide. I, I'm, I'm the captain. I'm like, okay, so I, we're all together then. Like everybody, like Rick is dead. Over random pirate, <laughs> he, he was dead. Is like we'll, we'll mourn him later. But it's like, okay, it's like, um, I, I would probably go rush toward the woman and try to help because if I'm a pirate, I'm against the navy. I see a navy, you know, putting his foot on a, like somebody up. Like, and, and like, it doesn't matter. It's the Marines, you I, know. I, it's like you know, they're they're the enemies. Um. Even in my adult state, I might think like they're the reason we wrecked, you know, so that might have caused something. So. As you start running um, towards the pink haired yeah. girl, uh, yeah. the man immediately notices you and sticks his gun up and points it at you and goes, You! I don't know who you are! How did you survive the typhoon? And he, okay. you can see him physically quake, like quivering as he's doing it. And... All right, so I, I'm okay. Hmm. So. Can I, uh, I'm going to say maybe something with, like, insight to tell. Like, he's very clearly rattled. Like, so he's not as big of a threat as I originally perceived him to be. You know? Yeah. Uh, wait, are you trying to do, like, an insight check to, like, check, uh, like, his mental state? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, you could do that. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Insight. See how, how terrified he is. All right. All right. So, uh, from your point of view, he's not a very high-ranking member of the Navy, you notice, by his, like, okay. uniform. And clearly, whoever was in charge of his boat is dead. 
Can and I get an age, a general age range on he's this kid? He's 19. He like he's ginger. Oh. He's got like freckles oh. running across <laughs> oh, his face. Okay. Um, and like uh, he, he's very skinny, scrawny guy. And um, you, he has a, another Navy officer behind him, a Navy man behind him. Uh, who looks less scared, but he has a huge piece of wood in his leg. Uh, so he's like, it almost looks like he's fading in our consciousness a little bit. All right, I'm not really going to care about that guy right now because he's, once again, he's like a Marine. He's like, you know, he's like brutally wounded. I'm, I'm more worried about the situation at hand. So um, I'm going to stop. I'm not going to go any further. I'm going to kind of like not grab my flintlock, but I'm just going to put my hand kind of close to it. Yeah, and just be like, oh, okay, there. It's 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 all right. Um, just we're, we're right now. I think we need just all need to calm down. I think. <laughs> I am calm. Are you are you kidding me? I uh, uh I I'm the, the calmest I've ever been. <laughs> uh, he's not calm. Yeah, I yeah. can tell. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna look back at my crew. What and just because hey, I'm not guessing. Hey, Verona, I think you uh, gotta get behind him. My head. I said go left, Ragnar. I don't know what you were thinking. <laughs> Are we all grouped together? Are we all kind of grouped together? I guess then? we're all grouped together. I'd probably up the... Yeah. I'll be up there. Right, let's, 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 let's roll with that. Like, I'm gonna... I'm gonna whisper over at... Uh, I'm gonna whisper over at Duras. I'm like, hey, um, could you just, like, sneak, like, a little bit around this guy? Just, you know... <laughs> I'm gonna ask Duras to sneak! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I love it. fucking <laughs> <laughs> yes, I will very gladly sneak around in my loud clanging armor. All right. I won't notice a thing. All right, Duros, do you want to try? <laughs> uh, you're gonna make me actually try to sneak. Do you want to okay, do you want to disobey you, you, you an order? You don't have to do it. You don't have to do it. You could be like maybe. You know I what? Do Yolo, that. man. Yeah. I do want to save her. I th I feel like I would just probably rush the guy at this point. But yeah, I'll I'll, I'll do what my captain says. I will gladly. Sneak! You have disadvantage. You got a four, which is shit. Uh, obviously. No shit. <laughs> so, so Duros, you're like, yes, Captain. And uh, you, you take a step. And as you take a step, your entire armor, like, rattles. Like, ding, 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 ding. Okay. <laughs> the guy turns to you, seeing you take that step, sees you as a threat, and immediately fires his gun off. What is your armor class? Okay. Okay, he fires your gun, but it pings up against your armor and flies off into the distance. As he fires, can I shoot? Can I try? Like, non-lethally. I'm not aiming for his head, but can I try to fire it like his shoulder or his leg or something? Yeah, go ahead. Do you want to fire a shot? Okay, I, I, all right. I'm going to fire a shot. I'm, I, that was my plan all along. I distracted <laughs> him. Uh, you hit him, so do you want to do damage? Uh, you know, I don't want to kill the guy. Yeah. I want to, like, shoot him in his arm or his leg or just, just knock him back so yeah. off the ground. Uh, do you want to still do the damage anyway to see how much? There you go. You did 12. Oh, so, uh, oh, you okay. shoot him non-lethally in the leg, but it, it's such a, <laughs> a massive blow in his fucking leg, he falls unconscious. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, bro. I really didn't mean to do <laughs> that. Goes, okay. Oh! My leg. <laughs> I'm like, I'm sorry. I didn't mean for him to have that much pain, but at the same time, I'm like, ah. Uh, All right, the, let's 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 go check on the girl. The, the marine behind the the marine behind him, who's now sort of slumped on the ground, uh, uh, gets out his pistol and goes, "You son of a bitch! I don't know what you did to little old Jenkins, but you're not going near this girl. I've sworn my life to to escort this one." He. he <laughs> he's heavily breathing. It looks like he's on the verge of passing out already anyway. Oh, God. All right. So, as Duros was making his ultimate uh, distraction over here, yes, I yeah. would like to have been moving the opposite direction so nobody's paying attention to me with my stealth. Am I yeah. able to do that? Yeah, you can do a stealth. Uh, all right. You and actually did it. My distractionness and my clangingness. Everyone is paying attention to okay. me. Verona, you're you're so sneaky that nobody could fucking see you. Not even your teammates. Yeah. Like and, uh, they think you might you might have just abandoned them. Uh, <laughs> so during all that, I would have obviously collected myself from the wreckage a little bit, kind of figuring out what's going on. And I've got my uh, my rifle just kind of aimed at the the guy in the back who's lifted up his gun. Yeah. Just, just in case, I'm not ready to fire quite yet. Okay. Okay. But oh shit! Where could Verona go? You got it. You got it ready. Uh, I'm over yeah. here, <laughs> Shh. No one knows. Your voice. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Okay. 
Yeah, so he's holding his gun up to 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 you, going like, oh, I, "I will, f- I will shoot! I swear to God." I heard words from God, so I will slowly approach the navy. <laughs> oh God, here we go! Uh, don't get it! Don't get any! <coughs> don't get any closer! And you, you can uh, see him sort of fading in and out. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna point my gun at him too, and I'm just gonna be like, "You just, shh, just calm down. You should just, just, just don't, don't try it. This isn't gonna end well for you. You should just lay there. Don't move. Everything do you want to do okay. a persuasion for that? Yes, to I try will. And yes, him. I will try. If it doesn't work, I'll charge him, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> Duly noted. We may have to take that off. Because I, I don't think I was very persuasive. Uh, you're not very persuasive. You got an eight. Uh, so he goes, "The fuck are you talking about? <laughs> if I put my gun down, you would just shoot me like you shot Jenkins." I'm not going to shoot anyone. Hey, Duros. Um, <laughs> <laughs> can you stab him? <laughs> No, I, will... I don't. <laughs> yes, not... Duros will gladly charge this man and broadside him across his face to Look, knock him clean on guard. Normally, I'm perfectly fine with shooting a marine dog in the face, but he's kind of already bleeding out. I would feel bad. I mean, he's not. Just make sure he can't hurt anybody here. Take the gun away from him, you know? <laughs> sure. Uh, yes, uh, Duros will go up to him and basically just rip the pistol out and knock him down. I guess that's the one. Okay. I, I you don't be. have. He's already down. I mean. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, I thought you did. You knock him down? No. Th- this so? this guy. The, you, the other guy is unconscious. Uh, this is the guy that was behind him and is is on the like sitting on the ground because his leg is wounded. Yeah. Uh, okay, okay. So yeah, you could just fucking. I mean, you can knock him completely prone. Yeah, I'll just knock him. I'll I'll just go up. I will go up to him and knock him in the noggin. Just pop. <laughs> Uh, just knock him down. All right. Just for that, do you just want to do a strength check? He will try and fire at you, but again, you your armor is so good, and he's so shit. <laughs> yeah, he has, I, I will do a strength check. He, he right? will have so disadvantage. Um, that's good enough. I mean, you got to crit. Fuck it. You did what well, you did. The... <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. His skull open. <laughs> oh, wow. So, you go to oh, rip man. the gun. Whilst he does that, he is going to... Whilst you do that, he is going to try and... Holy shit. <laughs> So, you charge at him, and in that moment, all of a sudden, his mind becomes clear, and he hears the voice of, like, his father from many years ago. (laughs) When when you're about to die, Lawrence, remember this. You aim direct for the head. You can do it. He pulls out his gun, like time slows down for him. A bullet fires out from his gun. He shoots you. The bullet doesn't quite hit your head. It it pierces your arm and pierces you through the chest as you knock him down. Blood is now gushing out of your wound. So Um, much for a crit roll. He then... (laughs) (laughs) You just both... You both critted. (laughs) Oh! All right, I think um, I'm going to use... Pers- <laughs> I shouldn't do that in that voice. I'm going to use persuasion. Oh, no, he's unconscious. I... Oh, he's unconscious. <laughs> he, <laughs> yeah, the I, moment... I knocked his ass yeah, out. Th- this, yeah, this gun oh, fired... Yeah, he just got knocked down. I was going to be like, all right, this is a bad situation. No, he here, fired man. off the gun right before he got charged. Then he got hit, and he okay. got knocked out unconscious. Now he is unconscious. Uh, you got two unconscious marines, and then you have a girl who's sort of now squir- squirming in the, in the ropes. Uh, she can't quite get up. And, oh, um, okay. All right. I, okay. So, like, Ragnar, you go take care of Duros to make sure he's not bleeding out. Does anybody else have an attitude today? I shout out to, like, all the other <laughs> Marines that are... Is anyone else going to try to shoot us today? I'm like... Uh, well, there's, there's uh, like... A, Duros, a, a, brother. A, <laughs> okay. I... I've had worse. I've been stabbed many times and left for dead. This is but a flesh wound. It's oh, he's fine. Deal. Okay, he's still he's still doing. He's good. He's so out. a guy in the shipwreck over there. He sort of lifted his hand and he goes, uh, 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 "Hold up, hold up. Um, hello, my my name is." Uh, I, I just I, fire my flintlock in the air and I'm just like, oh, no, you know. I'll, I'll, I will stay down. Just please don't shoot me. I am going. I didn't. I'm gonna crawl away now. Please, I'm gonna no, go. I'm gonna live a life. For, I'm gonna live a life. Life on this at, abandoned stay island. Where you're at, kid. If you move, we just gotta make everything figured out here. No, okay. I, Actually, you know, right. 
Here, I'm gonna whatever. move my my sights over to this kid now. Oh, I I know. I swear yeah, to God. I'm, I'm I swear. To, no, no, no. Listen, I I've you know I can I can just like I can make a little wooden hut for myself here, drink coconut juice for the rest of my life. Just don't fucking kill me, please. I have I I don't I, I was gonna say I have a wife, but I'm too young for that. I nobody actually has ever loved me. But uh, please, someone tell this, this kid to shut the hell up. This kid's voice is <laughs> shut the hell up. <laughs> Should I go over and smack him in the head? Okay, okay. Actually, no. <laughs> you know what? Hey, hey. Um, sorry, guys. I'm actually dead. Pretend that this was a dream. <laughs> And he, he puts yeah, his head down and pretends you. to be dead. Oh shit, he died. <laughs> as, long as, he, as long as he shuts his cornhole, I'm fine with this, okay? Uh, all right, so um, watch my back so nobody else tries to shoot me. I'm going to go over and check on this girl, okay? Uh, I got you, Captain. Thank you. All right. You, so you, you walk over to the... I'm using this dead man's clothes to heal your wound. So... Yeah. Put it on your I don't think that's how it works, but thanks for the. Oh shit, he's not dead. <laughs> <laughs> Moved a little. Uh, All right, so I'm gonna go. Uh, is she, she lying on the ground? She's tied up, lying on the ground. She's conscious okay. though. Uh, All right, I'm gonna approach her, her. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kneel down and just. I'm just gonna say. All right. Please tell me you're not, you know, you're not part of this group. The, what the fuck does it look like? Please, if you're gonna do anything, just untie me already. Uh, yeah, okay, I will. I have like a knife on me, so I'm just gonna untie her. Uh, you untie her, and she she immediately springs up and like brushes the dirt off her. Now you can see her standing up. She's uh, okay. wearing uh, like leather armor, but with like a uh, a silver shoulder plate on her shoulder. Um, okay. She's but she's got a cloak that covers up like her head and her ears and stuff. You could just see a bit of pink frizzy hair sticking out and okay. her face. And she's also got bright pink eyes as well. Um, All right. So I, I she's I stand quite up small I... as well. She's about I'd say five two five three. Oh, okay, cool. So I I, I stand up. I, I put my knife away after I cut her loose, and I'm like, so um, interesting day, has it not been? Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, definitely. Well, how how can I how can I tell you guys aren't just gonna kill me right here right now? I, uh, I've well, been, I, I have been through. Well, I'll, I'll tell you. I'll give you a really quick test on that. Are you going to talk my ear off like other pieces of shit today? No, uh, I mean I can't. Uh... I shout over her as the I, I'm shouting directly at the other marine. What I'm saying, the, the, the marine goes, "I am so sorry." Uh, yeah, I'm sure you are. Like as long as you don't do that, we should be on good terms. Um. Uh. So she she like puts her fists up, and you notice that she's got gloves over her fists. Uh. Okay. But they're quite like uh. The gloves are kind of like bulging slightly. Uh. Mm -hmm. They look the gloves look way too big for her hands. Like you you imagine she would have smaller hands than what the gloves display. Okay. Um, and she's just like, oh, please, uh, listen, I've had a really rough week. I've been through so much, and this is the one good thing that's happened so far. I don't want you guys to come and fuck this up. I'm well. I, I I don't know how good it would be. Our ship is destroyed, and there's like death like everywhere. Like, do you see Rick over there? Rick's dead. So, my um, best friend. I mean, I, I'm glad you're alive, I guess. I mean, we know, you know what? We should probably go check to see how much, like, food and stuff we have salvaged <laughs> from this if we're going to be on a deserted island. Uh, um, you guys got any ale? Yeah, uh, Ragnar, Verona, go check the hold and make sure everything's, like, what we can salvage from this. Uh, Duris, are you all right, buddy? Are you, are you, do you need any help? I'm doing just fine. I'm just bleeding a little bit. Don't worry about <laughs> I, that. Aye, aye, Captain. Yeah, go check some for medical medical supplies, first aid, whatever we have. Whatever you can salvage. Sure, uh, I will all right, so you do a, a a perception check. Whoever's doing that to look around uh, the beach for uh, supplies. Yeah. So if two of us are doing it, would we both do one? Uh, what would one of them would do it, but the other one would be yeah. helping, so that person would have advantage. There okay, we go. So, okay. so I could click perception. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So if you're doing it. Okay. Oh my god. Wow. Okay. Damn, I'm smart. You just turn around, and it's almost like you like X-ray vision the fucking beach. You're like, <laughs> well done, Doris. Um, I can see everything. Uh, <laughs> you, uh, yes, you see. There is like, uh, there, there are sacks of meat sort of strewn out. So some meat has like spilled out, but there's some good hefty sacks of meat and uh, there is an entire like pristine first aid kit. <laughs> Just Perfect. Like, like there's a medic, like a medic marine. He's holding a first aid kit, but he's like dead okay. clearly. He's he like protected <laughs> the first aid kit with his life and you find it. What a nice man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, All right. Um, now I, I address my crew. I'm like, okay, we got the first aid kit. Um, I know none of us are doctors, but who would be probably best suited to use this to uh, fix up Duras here? That would probably be me with my survival knowledge. It would be medicine. It would be a medicine check. 
Yeah. Oh, never mind. I mean, I can take a crack at it if you want me to, but I'm not the best. What is this medicine you speak of? <laughs> yeah, Ragnar never heard would okay, be the so worst. Okay, so you're a no. You're, you're probably a hard pass on you, uh, Ragnar. Okay. Uh, Sounds good. Yeah. Mm. This doesn't involve a, a nail and a hammer, so we're not going to be... <laughs> I'm gonna start chopping some firewood over here. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Actually, no, actually, be, good, good idea. Pretty good. Okay. Right. So, uh, I, I could take a crack at the first aid. I'll roll for medicine. Okay, so the, you, Duras passes you the first aid kit to heal himself. Go. Oh, good roll. Okay. That's Yo, like, holy. that's one away from a crit that you got there. Yeah, like, you critical got a healing. healing. <laughs> so, oh, um, I'm so that, healthy. You're so I good. Wrap, Ooh. I, I wrap that bandage perfectly, and I, you know... I don't okay. kiss your wound, but I kiss my hand and put it on the do wound. You, like, we'll you just go. do it. Uh, this first aid kit, mm. it's a D4 plus what your wisdom modifier is. So do you, if you want to roll that? So you, uh, D, you take... D4 plus yeah. wisdom? Yeah, 1D4 plus whatever your... Okay, so you got a 4. So what is your what is your wisdom? Uh, uh, I have a plus 2 to my wisdom. So 6. You get 6 hit points back, Duros. Okay. Oh, great. I'm almost back to normal. <laughs> yeah. Your, your wound is all patched up. You're no longer bleeding. Uh, too bad there's like a singular hole in your armor. Oh, uh, it's all right. <laughs> it uh, makes <okay>. character. <laughs> so, all right, we got that taken care of. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to gather the crew together where uh, Ragnar is cutting firewood. I want to gather everyone together. The girl, I'm going to tell her to like, hey, just sit tight, hang back a little bit. I need to discuss with my crew. Just please don't run away or anything yet. Um, we're just, we're not discussing anything involving you. It's actually involving I mean, how the, okay. All right. Firstly, you don't fucking tell me what to do. I mean, I'm grateful that you saved my life, but uh, can you uh, tell me what the fuck is going on? Suddenly there was a typhoon. Okay, okay. Ship, ships wrecked. A marine y yes, got yes. up. Weather is a thing. Yes, weather right, right, right. No, a marine, okay. sorry. A marine got up, pointed. I, I thought I was safe on this island, I'll tell you. I thought nobody would find me here. Wait, 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 wait! I thought you. I thought you were brought here by them. You were on the island to begin with. No, they were. They, they were hunting me, and uh, I, I, I was like, wow, please. I saw their navy ship. I was like, please don't, don't come to this island. Fucking typhoon happened. I was like, oh, my prayers have been answered. And then all of a sudden, some of those fuckers survived. <laughs> okay. Um, so, I can tell you've been through a lot today. Um, you can join us if you want that. I, I'm just, actually, we're going to discuss the Marines right now. Okay? I, I mean, we've also got meat. Oh, yes, uh, we, we have meat. All right. I I've never liked the Marines. The mail. Um, I'm going to gather too. everybody together, and I'm going to address them like, all right, here's the deal, guys. I'm going to take out my gun, and I'm going to be like, all right, look. Looks like we're probably going to be this on this island for a little while. Ragnar, what, what do you think about our ship? Do you think you could you fix it a little bit up? Or wait, he's, he's here out of character. Is that a ship, right? I'm sorry, I blank for a second. Yeah, he is. He is. Okay, yeah. thank God. All right. <laughs> I'm like, it's like, wh wh what do you think it's going to take to fix up our ship? I mean, you could use parts from the marine vessel, or you know, um, so I've been I've been chopping a lot of wood. I could do a lot of fixes to the helm, but it's looking like it's going to be a good couple hours before we could even. We can I try can to I, take sail? All right, I'll come in here and say that your ship is is not even. You can't even. It's like so destroyed. Oh, there is okay. no. There is Forget no ship. What I said. <laughs> I just noticed. I just noticed that we have no. Where's butter? the ship gone? All right. No. Where's the ship gone? No. no the <laughs> ship is okay. purely just in pieces. You. All right. Looking at the interior here, guys. <laughs> I don't think it's possible. <laughs> some other ship, some navy ship around here. So I basically, I just pointed to a bunch of like, like random <laughs> driftwood on the beach. I'm like, yeah, yeah. So Ragnar, how far, how long does it take to get this back up? And shit, shit? <laughs> you know, I, I think our captain is not the best at decision making. <laughs> Asking me to sneak, trying to fix a dead boat. You know, this that is was, very that, strange. That was a very logical decision. I distracted him, as you'll notice. Not everything I do is well known to anyone, even myself. But I. I, I can always round up. I get to where I need to be. Okay. So, uh, sorry, sorry, to, sorry to interrupt. Uh, I, I hear yes. you guys uh, don't have a a, a, a vessel. Um, that is true. We do not. Well, I guess I have to repay you guys for saving me and all that. She looks off. She's not making eye contact with you as she's saying this. Okay. Um, uh, I mean, I had to come here somehow. I have a, a small rowing boat uh, that you can use. Um, uh, as long as I'm there to oversee, and we can get to an island into where I know that they make ships, and then she like looks away, very kind of flustered. This a little seems bit. very like 
she keeps looking she away. She seems I'm not very being like, trustworthy. Uh, it's like, yeah. Um, <laughs> and, okay. and then she turns around. It's like, and it's, it's only because you did that thing for me one time. It's it's not because I'm I want to do anything for you guys. Uh, it, it, you guys are d dirty pirates. <laughs> then she looks away again. Oh God! I'm like, uh, okay. Well, um, I mean, not the first time I've been called that, but you know, um. Screw you! But all right, uh, we saved your life. But okay. Anyway, I would have um, I would have been able to get out of those ropes myself. Uh, eventually, I just didn't want to at the time. I don't know. That guy was kind of panicky with the gun. I, uh... <laughs> um. All right. Well, I'll I'll tell you what. Can you just hang back for a bit? I'll address this with my crew here because this is you know a lot, lot of weird stuff going on right now. All right. So this wench uh, seems a little bit crazy there, uh, William. Although yeah. I feel like she's kind of powerless, we might as well just take her boat. <sighs> you know, I, she was, she was running captain. from the navy, and I don't like the navy too much. And obviously, yeah, some I, I don't trouble. either. And honestly, did you see her keep looking off? Like, like she's clearly lying. Like it's pretty obvious. Um, There's something going on with her, and I've met could... lots of ragtail people in the past, and I feel like. She obviously is hiding something. Tech, does, but that, does someone want to no do? Better options. Do does someone want to do an insight on her to like tell her I, she's I lying? Didn't, or not? Who, who else? Um, yeah, not Ragnar. Because <laughs> I can't do fucking anything. What do you, uh, what do you think, I Ragnar? I, I value your opinion very highly. <laughs> Should I actually do it? No, I mean, <laughs> no. Who, who like wants I to said, do it? I think like we, uh, we have nothing to lose from this uh, puny woman. Might as well use your ship. Honestly, I'll tell you what, guys. Right now, I'm kind of a little bit more concerned about the Marines because, yeah, some of them, like, I think we, I mean, it, let's say there is a rowboat and let's say it can hold all of us and let's say that there's another island within rowing distance of this island, all of these very likely series of events. Um, I, I don't want to basically stay a night on this island with some Marines that are still alive, if you know what I mean, if you catch my drift. That makes sense. But, uh, we also got to bury Rick before we go anywhere. Yeah, I mean, oh, there's Rona, a bunch of... you're back! I heard a hey. voice that sounded very similar to you <laughs> a few moments ago. That's, that's great, Ragnar. Yeah. I'm, I'm mourning. I'm not ready to talk right now. <laughs> my apologies. What? My apologies. Um, but, I mean, hey, we want to go follow the girl, or, I, or the other option, I would say, is just make camp here somewhere on the island, then just weigh out our options. It's best not to stay on this island, I feel, and plus, protecting the innocent is what we should do and what I vowed to do, so I will protect this lady and see what is going on with her. I would say that trying to get off this island as quick as possible would be a good idea, so... I'm debating... Okay. All right, let's um, go check on... Hey, go just ahead. just so you guys know, I can hear everything that you're saying. Um, you're, you didn't move that far away from me. You're having this conversation in front of me. Oh, uh... Uh, I, 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 I'll excuse your rude comments, but I have you know it, it's not just a simple rowboat. It 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 does have a sail. You, you said it was a rowboat. Well, it, you can row it. It has a sail as well. What well, well, how big what is this boat? You can see that Ragnar is a pretty large man. It <laughs> will it will fit. One one of us will have to sit on another one's lap. Yes. Uh, no worries about that. I got I chopped up about a about a hundred pounds worth of firewood here. I can make some extensions. We'll all, we'll all fit. Not, no yeah. worries. Okay. Uh, I do believe I could probably navigate us there, Captain, if given the opportunity. And if one of you wish to sit on my lap, I will most welcome you. <laughs> my I brothers. may possibly take that up on your offer there, Duras. I would okay. rather drown. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no, if Ragnar sat on Duras's lap, Duras would probably drown. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Let's not my... forget to bring the meat and the ale. All right, then, madame, I say it very sarcastically, madame, if you would so very kindly show us the uh, way. Uh, my name is, my name is Pearl. Pearl? Okay. William? What uh, type of name is that? <laughs> Pearl is it, a nice name, lovely like the gem you are, shining in the evening, sparkling twilight. She pulls her... I've never heard of that name before. <laughs> she pulls her hood over her face, and she goes, well, you're... What, Stupid fucking pirate, she says, uh, clearly flustered. Oh, okay. Out of character, she's Sundere. Okay. <laughs> um, so, all right. Um, 
if, if she's willing to lead us, I'm just gonna kind of sneak into Verona and just kind of whisper, like, just make sure to keep an eye out for around. I don't know what she's gonna be leading us into or, or what's up with this. Huh. Aye, aye, Captain. I got <laughs> your back. All right. All right, guys, the ship's ready to go. Okay, en route, Verona, do you want to do a perception check? As in, you're keeping your I, eyes out. I would like to do a perception check. All right, so you got an eight. Uh, so um, you Can just I do one as well. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you don't know that Verona got an eight. Okay. You, you, for all intents and purposes, William is trusting that Verona is doing his best. I, I, I very well. Yes. Okay. Uh, so. so you are looking around Verona, but um, you're just thinking about something else. I don't know what it could be. Rick. Rick, you're too hold up by Rick's dead Rick. body. Rick. <laughs> Oh, Rick. He was a good man. A good swabby aboard our ship. <laughs> uh, and you, you, he, she sort of leads you to the other side of the island, and then she shows you a kind of a pathetic-looking small boat. Uh, okay. It's a wooden boat. It has a, it has a sail in, in it, and it does look like it will fit four people sitting down and then one person on someone's lap. And she goes, yeah. Well, th there it is. Verona. Well, what a lovely boat! Uh, <laughs> we're, we're looking at it. We're just looking at it. I'm like, it's, it's. I'm not quite that impressed. It's a boat, you know. It's not considering our a previous boat. I mean, could handle a lot of people. Like this thing you, is probably not that you, impressive. You, uh, you, you better be fucking grateful. Uh, I'm, it, it excuse, sucks. I, I don't think well, you're in the position to tell us anything right now. But okay, <laughs> it's better than nothing. It looks at least like it'll take us to where we need to go. Okay. Where is this? Where is this island? Ha, ha, ha. I've built better boats in my spare time. So, so I've been on the run for a little bit, for mm -hmm. reasons I do not want to go into right now. Uh, we, we, we've pirates. all been there. Um, <laughs> and most, you know, islands uh, have some sort of navy presence, but I know of one island in particular that doesn't have any sort of navy presence at the moment. Um, Which direction would that be in? <laughs> uh, it is sort of uh, northwesterly. Northwesterly. Okay. That seems like a normal direction. Yes, very normal. <laughs> I, 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 in Verona, you're the navigator. Have you ever heard the term northwesterly? Listen, uh, listen, idiots. I'm not a, I'm not a navigator. I don't know these terms. I just, I know it's in that, it's in a sort of northwestern-ish direction. Okay. I mean, I guess Verona. we'll just have to follow her lead. Listen, I, Verona, I, I, given I, I, I stopped off on there on my way to this island, and I, it was the safest I had been. But I, I knew that to be the safest, I had to be on an abandoned island. I mean, so look how that turned out. it's the safest you've out. ever been, but you wanted to be safer. Well, yeah, okay. better safe than, than 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 sorry. Fucking idiot pirates! They're all stupid, stupid idiots. Uh, she looks down at the ground. Well, bes besides well, Ragnar, um... I believe others, and uh, I believe we are of at least somewhat intelligence here. <laughs> no offense, Ragnar. <laughs> L listen to me. If you, if you want a new ship, there, there, there is a ship right on that island, and I know you guys probably don't have any money, but you, you, you'll be able to work something out. I'm, I, I'm sure of it. I check my pocket and like, like, do I have like, a, like a random like, like three? I have you like guys three berries have, to my name right now. Yeah, you guys have actually zero gold right now. Oh god! Oh, I just pull out captain. my, uh, I just pull out my pockets and I'm like, like lint falls out. I'm like, oh well, she she got me there. Okay. <laughs> but at least we have meat. That's Verona, something. we do, do have you meat. Think the we the have conditions meat are. Are the conditions adequate to set sail, given the situation? Well, yeah, it is, it is very sunny. Like, right after, you know, after the storm, can't, you know, after the storm, there is sunshine, as they say. Unless we're in the eyes. Well, uh, <laughs> would I have to roll a perception, uh, perception check to check, like, the... You, uh... Would that be nature? Like, no, that would be intelligence. Just do an intelligence, intelligence. to sort okay. of look at the skies and... Yeah. There you go. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, you, you look at the skies and they seem incredibly clear. You know, there's just been a a big storm but uh right now it doesn't look like there will be anything bad for at least a few days okay uh, i'd say we're probably good to set sail captain our vessel's not exactly up to par but it'll have to do i suppose okay well it's not the best but i guess it's what we got um ragnar if you could start loading as you know many provisions as you can into the boat not too much just <laughs> aye, aye, to get us thank you Meat, um I an ale we need meat and ale. The you know anything else like medical supplies. That's you know. Uh, you... Uh, but the meat and ale first and foremost. What what the hell? What the hell is this brute doing? You can't load. It only fits us. You have to carry it on with you. You can't put it on first unless you want to sit on your meat. 
There's a thing called backpacks, lady. Oh, um, I'm, I'm, it just looked like he was throwing throwing garbage onto the I, boat. It's not garbage, it's provisions. We need st How far is this island? How far is it going to take us to get there? It, it, How long? It would be about maybe like two days travel. I'm sorry. Oh my god. I mean, uh, you, uh, oh my god. You know you can't drink seawater, right? right? We, I have, Hold up. I have How water. How many years is that? Um, uh, it's, 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 it's a small year. Small, small, tiny, little year. How many Wait. sun rises and some falls? Two. Two. I just hold up. I, I don't even hold two fingers like this. No. I hold up two fingers like this. Like one, it, No, two. he cannot fucking see. Like, he's he's oh, like, okay. I mean, <laughs> he has an eye patch. He doesn't have depth perception. And oh, God. Okay. You, you hold yeah. up two fingers and it just blurs into like, <laughs> just a blob. I see you're making some type of gang symbol. <laughs> oh, uh, I would real quickly like to pull Duros and Captain William aside, yes, just for yes. a split second. So, sure. guys, two days isn't exactly uh, very short, so who's no. going to be sitting on Ragnar's lap? Because I don't exactly want to do it if I don't have to. I mean, I guess I'm the captain. I'll, I'll, I'll bear this cross if I must. Well, uh, what about the girl? Well, I was welcoming you to, to sit on my that. lap if you wish. Oh, I guess... Well, I you guess guys take away the problem. Yes, I, 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 the, I, I will gladly the... bear this burden for you. <laughs> I turn uh, to the okay, girl. I guess that settles it. Yeah, I turn to the girl and I'm like, okay. Say we uh, take this boat and we head off. Or, 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 I presume you would wish to come with us. Uh, uh, I mean, you guys. I mean, there's a lot of marines over there. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I you could probably find some more supplies. I guess I don't. Know. I, I mean. It's not like I need you guys to protect me or anything, but um, you, I, I mean, you did kill those Marines, so I know we're not enemies at least, and I just think it, you know, a bit safer if we stick together. Also, I'm worried about you guys. You guys might, you know, you might need someone to protect you guys, actually, right? I don't want you guys to end up dead on, a, on an island, right? If I'm not around, you know, I can't have that weighing on my conscience to All send right, four men to their death. You, All right. you enjoy uh, that spirit of protection. A lady to protect a knight and a knight to protect a lady. This is beautiful. <laughs> All right. Oh, I really don't trust this lady. <laughs> uh, oh. Do you want to do an insight? What is wrong? Quick? She I seems know. so nice. You see how the, the Navy was treating her? That was terrible. Do you, do, you okay, want, do you want to do an insight to see if, like, she's, like, to tell maybe if she has, like, malintent or lying or whatever? I wanted, okay, let's do that first. I'll do an insight check first. And if that doesn't, we'll see where that goes. Okay, mm. you, 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 I mean, just from your point of view, you can't really tell anything mm. about her. Okay. From your point of view, you, you, you're you not picking up on anything at all that to the point where you, you sort of think that she might be suspicious. Okay. All right, fair enough. If you are, um, if you are suspicious of her, why not just ask her? <laughs> very Doris. I've already got. <laughs> I feel like you're not being very direct with us, and if you're going to be traveling with us, that's a problem. You understand we are pirates, and you keep saying you don't like pirates, and yet you're helping us. Uh, I mean, <laughs> it's uh, it's a little bit counterintuitive. That means something that is something that isn't something, Ragnar. I, <laughs> I yes <laughs> no <laughs> I'm uh, she's she looks a little bit flustered um and she she goes right now the the enemy of my enemy is my friend is is that not enough for you it is I enough suppose. for me it's I see two me. enemies and two friends <laughs> in that. Thank you, Ragnar. <laughs> Wait, which one of the pirate crew is an enemy? Wait, yeah. Wait, Ragnar. <laughs> <laughs> you just said, Are we the not enemy, of my enemy is my Are friend. That comrades? means two enemies, one friend. Oh, I... oh Who yes, am I swimming yes. this axe against? Yes, no, yes, of course, of course, of course. It's like, all right, I, I will accept your... I, I, I'll, I'll trust you for now, but just understand that we will be keeping an eye on you. So, you know... Yeah, and she like it, is it, like rubbing I her arm. Stand down for now, then, William. Mm. Uh, while okay. we're uh, while we're figuring um, all this out, as would a, I be able yes. to do a check? Oh, sorry. Would I be able to do a check on the uh, the unconscious navy scattered across the beach? What do you? I know about? that we didn't kill them. So oh, like, no, that's, that's, that's what, that's what I was worried about. So here's the thing: 
Um, setting out on a two-day voyage without like good provisions does not sound like a smart thing to do. You have so, plenty we have of meat. You definitely yeah. have well, enough yes, we, meat. We need we need fresh water. Is what we need though. Um, uh, <laughs> just squeeze the meat into water. <laughs> I'm 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 not an idiot. I have water. I mean, I brought enough water to last me for a while here on the island. Uh, it should be enough for two days. Very she well has a then. Satchel of water on her. She, she has like a like a like a rucksack. Like a gourd. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, water skin or something. Yeah. Um. All right. Well, if if it's good sailing weather and you know I got Verona's go ahead and we have the necessary provisions, I would rather get out of here before any of those Marines wake up. Okay. Uh, Agreed. So you guys okay, then. get on. Who we said sailmen. Who is sitting on whose lap? Um, I will like, welcome okay. any of you. Come, so I, join me, I brothers. Am, I am the captain, so I have to be at the front of the ship to, you know, guide us, of course. Yeah. Uh, and point in directions that Verona will tell me. But of course, that also means Duras will have to be sitting in the front, and I will sit in Duras. Okay. So I will right. give you a booster seat so you <laughs> may see farther. You guys. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. You guys start that rowing. Must be pretty rough on your bottom. Uh, <laughs> I've. Uh, my bottom has went through worst. I shall endure. You start rowing, and then the wind start catches your sails, and you you start okay. making your your way uh, across North. the sea. I, I shout out northwesterly, apparently, <laughs> Verona. Guide us, and I'm assuming you have a compass, Verona. <laughs> yes, that was uh, make sure yeah. to me. Do I have a compass? Yes, you have a compass. We, okay. Yes. Very well. Uh, yes, we're we're heading in the right direction. Just uh, keep okay. that way, I guess. So, um, what do you guys want to do to pass the time whilst on this boat? You can like uh, talk to Pearl and like ask her any questions or whatever. Or yes, I would love to talk to Pearl. She seems like a charming lady. <laughs> uh, what do you guys want to do? I, I, I whisper to Duras. I'm like, if I'm not mistaken, it would seem that you are rather smitten with this young lady. No, I just like talking to people. What is romance you speak of? <laughs> You're a knight. I would understand that romance this... would be something that you would be rather acquainted with. This crew has two idiots. <laughs> <laughs> This crew is fifty. To talk to this crew is fifty percent dummy. I love everyone equally. <laughs> well, in the meantime, I can start roasting up some uh, some meat. I'm getting a little hungry here. You uh, can't start a fire. Ship. <laughs> careful, I, like yeah. If oh, I, like, like, I brought this firewood for no reason. Then, <laughs> um, where she, are you keeping it? Yeah, I, don't even see um, it. I mean a little is bit of wood, a little bit of meat. Uh, she she <laughs> actually goes, Ragnar, uh, pa pass me a slice of that raw meat. Okay. She, you, you throw. <laughs> she, she gets the slice, and then she like turns away from everyone, and you hear her like a, and then she turns back, and and the meat is cooked. And okay, does, uh, it, does anybody have? Does, do we notice that at all? Like, uh, well, if, Ragnar doesn't. Uh, okay. I, I'll, I'll probably I mean, notice what, it. what you notice is yeah. her turning away. You hear a blowing sound. She turns back, and there's a cooked piece of meat in her hand. And then oh, she, gives, wow. she gives it back. That is amazing! Can you show me how you did that to my meat? I am rather intrigued as well. But I, I am much more dubious. My look is just like, I am much more interested in well. Don't, don't ask any questions. <laughs> Can you please blow my meat, my dear? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I oh, I well. just realized I did a blowing meat thing. <laughs> oh, holy oh, shit, guys. <laughs> oh. oh. Russia, just say something like, if I blow your meat, there'll be nothing left. Oh. Uh, I'm sure you don't want it well done or something. I don't know. She, she sort of... Like cooked meat. What's this wrong? Why is everyone looking at me funny? Okay. I just want my meat cooked. Uh, <laughs> okay. We, we... She, she starts right. like t turning away like she's embarrassed and she's just sort of blowing on a raw piece of meat. And then um, I, need a, I need a synonym for blowing. Uh, uh, she starts huffing on a raw piece of meat. Oh, I don't know if that's better. Uh, Projecting what is the air? Projecting air. She's... There you go. Oh. That, 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 that's the more scientific. Oh. Term. <laughs> well, it's that's what it sounds like. Breathing, maybe. She's <laughs> that's good. She's actually breathing on a piece of meat. <sighs> Fuck off. Right. Okay, so she's breathing on a meat, and she comes around and it's cooked, and she hands out a cooked piece of meat to everyone. Okay. Oh, lovely. Is this medium well? Uh, I, don't, I, I, I hope I hope you guys like it. I take a piece of meat and I start eating it like very slowly as I'm like staring at her. Yeah, it's cooked. It tastes and good. I turn yeah, away from I'll, the crew. I'm chomping down. This is delicious. <laughs> Open I up must my say, mouth. And slide it in there. I must say, and I'm sure many of you will also probably have known of this uh, this legend. I've heard pray tell of um, 
those in the world with some mysterious abilities, and I can't help but feel that you are someone with the uh, said ability. Would you be, perhaps? Abilities? It's, it's Could I like... roll a history check to see if I would know about that? Yeah, yeah, do a history. Uh, yeah, okay, ab cool. Ability? It's, it's, it's more like a curse. Oh, yeah, you, you'd know about it, William. And okay. actually, if one of you knows about it, then all of you knows about it, because you would have talked about them. Yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> you could, it must be one of those strange fruit powers. I've, I've heard of this, yes. They're not very common, but the story goes, you eat a fruit, and the sea becomes your mortal enemy, yet you gain a power beyond imagining. Yeah. Oh, yes! I remember my great-grandfather telling me stories about, about this back in the day. It, they're not really... Uh, you can call it powers, but yeah, to me it's more of a burden. It's all right. We all share many burdens, my dear lady. But together we share it as a crew, and a mighty crew we have become. So uh, if you wish to divulge upon us, uh, we have plenty of time to spare. She, she suddenly, like, her expression changes from that sort of flustered, sort of angry look that she's been having, like that sort of constant state of being pissed off that she was kind of having before. Mm -hmm. And now she kind of mm -hmm. does look forlorn, and she goes, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I, I feel a bit uncomfortable talking about it. I don't... Is, uh, I, I, I don't, I, I, I don't want to talk about it right now, is that okay? That is perfectly acceptable to me. <laughs> I... <laughs> Very well. What well. are we going to do? <laughs> I'm a knight, I'm a gentleman. If you do not wish to speak, you will do in your own time. <laughs> Th thank you, Doris. Um, I could talk about... <laughs> time for a nap. I could talk about the island that we're going to, if you prefer, ch changing the subject. Not sure, perhaps, what? but very well. What is your, what is the name? Uh, the island's called um, Gallows Island. Pretty apt name. It uh, there is no there is no navy presence on the island, but it does mean that they have quite a skewed sense of judgment. Uh, they they punish all criminals, no matter how big the scale, uh, with hanging. Um, yes, I can see why you would feel very safe on an <laughs> island like that. Well, I'm not a criminal, so of course I would feel safe. Hmm. Uh, so it doesn't matter if you murder or if you, um, you know, you steal some bread. It's at the gallows, but they love it. They, when I was there, they were doing a big event where they were hanging a few people, everyone cheering. Uh, it, it's crazy. Some people are there, they even commit crimes of purpose because they want to be a part of the hanging. Oh my. But it like sounds like a, a rollicking good thing. time, does it not, lad? <laughs> <laughs> I Son. prefer a nice battle to the death, but I... I guess the hanging is an option. <laughs> Ragnar is fast asleep. Yeah, he's just... <laughs> <laughs> ah, that man's that man's snores could fell a uh, fell a, a tree. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, she says that, and she goes. So I mean, I mean, that's why I eventually like, it was the safest place I'd been, but it's why I I did wanted to be a place where I could be alone, but uh, it's also why you guys need me there to... to could you tell me where you're from originally, though? Where are you fleeing from all of this? I mean, we're pirates. I mean, we chose the open sea and open combat with the marines, you know, willingly. But about you, you just seem on the run from somewhere. I don't trust you guys enough to tell you that. Mm. Uh, I would rather... The feeling is mutual. I would rather jump into the ocean right now <laughs> than tell you that. I, I'm I, wondering, actually, about that. I Can would, you swim? I've never been able to swim ever since I was a child. I, mm. Not to lack of <laughs> trying. I, I give her such a judging look right I, now. I, I, I don't know why. It's just ever since I was a baby. I, I, I give the look that, like, you know, you get in trouble in elementary school and the <laughs> teacher knows you did something wrong and just like... Mm, 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 mm. Oh, I wonder what type of island we're going to. <laughs> yeah, Ragnar's awake. <laughs> oh. Okay, You're awake. It's good to see you, Ragnar. I hope you had a peaceful slumber, my friend. So, thank you, thank you, Doros. You guys continue uh, sailing, and you know, time passes. You guys sing songs. You have your good times, and eventually, you approach Gallows Island. It's quite a small island. It, it seems to be the entire. There's just a. The island seems to be about just a town size, uh, with like a uh, like a forest as well. 
um, you, you pull up on the harbour of Gallows Island and you could see yeah. immediately as you pull into the harbour of Gallows Island, there's a huge town square which is borders the harbour and on the town square are gallows and there are three hanging dead bodies and people just sort of walking around like it's no big deal. Merrily, uh, the name of the island has come to make sense to me. So, uh, as I as I as I walk into the as I depart the ship, yes, you guys depart the ship. I assume, okay. yes. Uh, I wonder why those guys are indeed. hanging there. As you oh, think they committed a crime. I hazard they are merely napping, Ragnar. No need to be concerned with it. It's oh, all... it seems like a good time. <laughs> they um, they are uh, probably criminals or volunteers. I I I do not know which, but volunteers. I do, uh, I, I do not judge. We're all criminals here. Just uh, continue to follow me. I'll take you to the sh to the shipwright. Um, it, he's a he's a he's a nice man. We had a brief conversation when I was here last, so he'll recognize me. So you need not worry. Um. You start walking through I, this. I, I don't say I don't say anything to her. I'm just I just waved like, go yeah. ahead. You you start walking through the so the the the, the coastline because it's a, yeah. along the coast, and you eventually okay. get to this uh, big building, and it looks like there's a ship that's sort of semi under construction there. All right. And uh, she, um, the door. It's like there's no door. It's just an archway, and you can already see a man working on the ship. Uh, he's got goggles on. He's bald. He has a huge black mustache, and he's relatively muscular. Uh, and he's got big black gloves on. And okay. What a beautiful mustached man! You, I, you say that out loud, and I was gonna say, yeah. the man turns around and goes, "Oi, who's there? Oh, how goes it today, sir? Ah, uh, customers, I assume. Come on in, ah. come on in, come on in. He ushers you guys I off, in. I take off my uh, my hat and I like bow to him. Very, he's like, ah, welcome. Yes, this is my crew here. Ah, uh, nice to meet you. Uh, he goes out for a like a handshake. Okay. What's uh, up? I'll give him a firm handshake. Everyone, sh oh. everyone takes turns shaking his hand. He, yes. He's got a very strong grip. Uh, ah. Him, him, and Ragnar like proper. Do a really good fucking right. manly hand I see. thing. You are, you are uh, a barbarian yourself. Uh, no, I just exercise. I lift. You know how it be. I've been working on these. I'm not a fighter. I just I'm a shipwright. Mm. Mm. I could see your sh see. your uh, your place of business, your shop here is quite impressive. If I do say so myself. I. It is very nice. Uh, so you it lost is just. Yes, it just so happens that uh, at this particular time, me and my crew are in the market for a new sailing vessel, if you get my means. Aye, and it just so happens I'm working up, uh, cooking up a baby right here, ready to be sold. It, it's, it's nearing completion, maybe just a couple of days. Uh, I see. You guys got the gold? Uh, that I, seems to okay. be an issue. Uh, yeah, so, yeah. Okay, I am going to. Um, all right, this is what I'm going to say. I'm going to. I'm going to do a deception roll with this. But basically, what I'm going to say is, is like when he asks that, like the gold. I'm like, ah. So unfortunately, we do not have it on us at the moment. But do not worry. I am good for it. We will. We will provide you the gold when the ship is completed. We just must, uh, you know, pick it up first. It's. It's just. You know how these things go, of course. Do you want to do a roll? Do a deception yes, roll for I'm me? Gonna, I'm going to do the deception roll there. Yeah. Okay, he goes, I don't think me an idiot. I'm not some lousy shipwright that works on one of those navy sanctioned islands. Well, uh -huh. I know you lot of pirates. I know the type of... You're going to wait for me to complete the ship and then just steal the damn thing. Ah, uh, no, sir. See, it you is, said it, we're finishing this Dura fine... Oh, okay, go it ahead. is two days away from completion on purpose, my good lad. I don't complete the ship until I get the money. That way it won't be stolen uh, from me from... So, like, that is... that. That is the true mark of a true uh, shipwright right I've there. been in tell. this job for a long time. No pirates, well, most pirates don't get the better of me. I William. understand. Quick maneuver William. there. Yes. Um, back in my hometown, when I used to make houses for people, sometimes they didn't have gold, but they would trade goods or services, for example. We could give her the girl. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I heard that. I, um, I don't believe that is the correct barter offer here, but perhaps we can do a service for you, good sir, with a mustache so mm, far. Well, there is something you lot could do for me. 
It means quite a lot to me. I haven't been. I can't do it myself. Is it? Is it perhaps one ship worthy? Give or take. I, I, I may. I may want some meat on top of it. I like. I see you have a bag usually, here. Yes. Wait. How much meat do we have left, guys? You have a lot Ragnar of meat. Ragnar ate a lot back on the no, ship. No. He had the perfect perception roll. He has a lot of meat. That's right. Oh. I have infinite we, meat. We also, <laughs> have, we also have some firewood for your forge, if you would require that. It's just morally just a trifle to offer you, just in our good graces, of course. I, I am not short on, on wood. We have a whole forest out there. I go chopping every morning. Ship I am right just in the trying to be kind, sir. I want. I just simply desire your ship. I could tell you're the best here in town. Uh, what is it you desire of us? And we will, you know, within reason, of course. He takes off his goggles and he puts them on top of his forehead like that. I'm not going to do that because I can't to his see. Eyes? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you lot came. Just, uh, yeah, Ragnar is. It's it, it's fine. Continue. <laughs> you lot came around right at a good time. Um, see my son, my pride and joy, he went missing not but a few days ago, and I've asked around a little bit, but I haven't been able to get any information. Yes, the Navy is useless, but don't worry, I would be glad to assist you. Uh, that would mean, mean the world to me. If it means this fine <laughs> craftsmanship, then yes, my crew is at your disposal. Uh, thank you very much. I, I truly appreciate your generosity. Uh, I, I will ask. I will ask, however, that um, you don't perhaps sell this ship or take up any offers I, while we are. If you're looking, if you're out looking for my son, I will not sell this vessel. Fine then. Everything is merry then, gentlemen. Now, we're, uh, and lady as well. That, uh, <laughs> unless, of course, your bodies turn up dead, then I'll have no choice. We are we are a motley crew, sir. We've been through quite a much. We were just actually in a uh, shipwreck only mere days ago, so we are used to I... putting life and limb out in danger in the sea. Where was the last place that you saw your son that we may begin to check? He regularly goes to drink at the Sparrow Eye Tavern. One night he went out, never came back. Hmm. Very well. We shall begin our search at once. His name before you leave without knowing the fucking name of my child. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't leave yet. His name That's is, our captain. His name is Similian. Similian. Fridgeworth. Similian. Yes, Fridgeworth. That's my last name. Mm. Yes. Sorry, I misread. Frigworth. Frigworth, I was going to say. Frigworth, I misread my, well, I, wow, I misread my, my birth certificate. Sorry, I sometimes <laughs> forget. I had my birth certificate up here. Misread. Frigworth. Fridgeworth. I don't know what a fridge is. Uh, we're all used to hanging out. We're all used to hanging out with Ragnar, so that shouldn't like. Oh, it's, you just the same. it's fine. That's normal in our in our midst. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Fridgeworm, Mr. Fridgeworm, I too have lost a son. I know how you feel. We will we will uh, make sure. We have a lot in common, you and I. I feel. Um, I got you. I got you, man. This is a beautiful brotherhood. <laughs> it brings a tear to my eye. <laughs> I may uh, not be the smartest, but I could swing an axe. If anyone's taking your son, we'll be sure to take care of them. <laughs> Aye, thank you a lot. Pearl, would you like to accompany us, or would you rather just stay here? Um, I mean, I, I, I guess you need someone, just in case things get hairy, so I will come with you guys. She puts her hands on her hips. Uh, against the more my the better... merrier. Against my better judgment, and at Duras's request, it very well, you may accompany us. <laughs> okay, so uh, you guys going to head off? So as you, you head yeah. out of the shipwright and you, you look upon the town, uh, behind the, the town centre there is sort of a row, like a marketplace of shops and stuff. And okay. flanking that, there's various different houses that people live in, and then you see in the distance, atop a hill, there's quite a fancy looking house. Um, but not that far off from the shipwrighty, uh, still along the along the coastline is uh, you can see from a distance is the inn with a and it's quite obvious the inn because it has a huge wooden cutout of a sparrow on front of it and the sparrow has like huge eyes like okay, they're just like we, Ooh. <laughs> so we can you know so we spot it pretty quickly That's yeah 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 it does no need to look around right okay well I, I take it this to be the place yep all right then. Men, on deck, 
we're going in. <laughs> I for investigation okay. and a merry drink. Yes. <laughs> you guys swing open the doors of the tavern. Okay. I'm gonna immediately do a perception on like like what on the surroundings. Yeah. Yeah. Do a, do a, yeah, yeah. Do a, do one of those. Ooh, good. Should I help him? Probably. Uh, well, it's fine. It, 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 he oh, got twenty-one. Okay. I mean, doesn't matter. All right. So I did pretty. I perceived the crap out of this tavern. He did pretty epic. <laughs> so yeah, you you do the perception check. Uh, you you scan around. Uh, it's quite dark and dingy. There's not too many people in here. There's obviously a man working behind the counter. He has little glasses on and hair that's like waxed down uh, over his head, like like this. Glasses similar to mine, actually. Um, and he's sort of wiping the counter. In the corner, you see t you see a man who's uh, dressed quite ruggedly. He has a bandana on and quite a significant nose, I would say. It's quite long. Not, not, not like Usopp length, but like... I was going to say... Oh, gonna... I was like, what a beautiful nose! <laughs> and he's got his feet up on the table and he's swigging back a drink. And then in the other corner, you, you see uh, two, two men and... A, they look like they're playing some sort of card game. Uh, hmm. One is one is bald, uh, an older fellow, and the other one looks quite young, and he's not bald. Okay, he's not bald. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna turn to my crew and be like, "Well, in my line of work, I think I know where to accrue some information. If one of you would like to go up to the uh, bar and ask for the uh, maybe the assistance of the bartender, I'm going to go address the uh, the people." And mm -hmm. I put on my bicorn hat and I walk over to the table where the people are uh, playing cards. Yeah. Mm. And I will gladly. Girls, I will leave the bartender to you. I'm going to go have a drink. <laughs> ah, no worries, my friend. You got to both have a drink as we talk to the I bartender. I mean, you've got to order a drink from the bartender. Yeah. I know. That's why I was. <laughs> Ragnar can't, Come Ragnar can't, can't be like, hey, you guys talk to the bartender. I'm just going to magically have a drink. <laughs> I'm just going to. I'm going to sit down. A drink will appear in front of me because that's how <laughs> inns work. I could. Uh, okay, so... I guess I'm just uh, gonna go stand in the corner and keep watch in case something goes south. That's okay, Daryl, let's head towards the bar. Ah, a yes, idea. a merry drink of brothers. <laughs> All right. Uh, which angle do you want to take this first? Do you want to, because uh, me at the car table or at the, the bar? Yeah. It's what, whatever the DM, I guess, decides. Uh, yeah, that's what I was okay, at, that's who's at the car yeah. table, who's at the bar? I was going to the car table by myself. Verona, if you want to come, you can just okay, you we'll do we'll anything. do car right, table first. It's bartender, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you go up to the you go up to the uh, table, uh, okay. William and Verona, and you see the old man. He's he's there. He's got like a long gray beard. As you get closer, you notice it. And he a younger a younger looking fellow, maybe like sixteen, is there? And they are playing. 16? Yeah, they're just playing cards. Uh, they're having okay. a jolly old time. Okay. Um, I walk up and I'm like, I. Hi there today, gents. Fine morning Ooh. we're having. Oh, good morning. I've good not morning seen to you, you lot around here. Taurus, yes, Sigalo's I... Island. I shake his hand. I'm like, hi, ah, yes. I shake but his wrinkly rather, old arm. We did not plan on arriving here, but as you know, the winds carry the ship and we just arrive. Oh, well, I guess so. I mean, whenever we have stragglers come in, they, nobody, nobody ever wants to come here unless they're on the run from something. So, ah, well, isn't that all of us a little bit there, old timer, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, uh, I'm an, I am not on the run from anyone. Uh, I'm an well, upstanding I'm citizen and you will respect that. Uh, very well, sir. I grab a chair and I just kind of like sit down at the table and I'm like, you, uh, room for one more at your humble game. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, I'm, I'm a rather adept with cards myself. Only if you desire, of course. Oh, fair enough. Well, um, uh, little, little Timmy, you, you good with this strange man playing with us? Yeah, I, I like, I, I, my mother already said, make sure to play card games with strangers. They always have the best money. Oh, I don't. <laughs> Your mother is a wise one, I must say, little Timmy. So. We... Verona, would you like to have a hand as well? I hope you don't mind my man here. Oh, Verona, I'll what a lovely Captain. name. Oh. Okay, sorry, pardon, pardon. I thought you would thought you were a woman, but I could see uh, that you were clearly not. Um, that's okay. Uh, you can join in too. Do you go? Do you lovely fellows have money that you can wager? 
I thought we would just have just a kindly, friendly game, and perhaps maybe the money can flow later. Oh, fair enough. We can have a friendly game, if you are Very well. okay with that. Uh, little Timmy, guess you're not making those big money today. Aw, oh, shucks. Oh, well. Um, well, it, it, it depends, little Timmy. It depends on what information you can provide me, but let, let, let's play a hand first. So what I'm going to do is I just want to play, like, a hand just normally. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know if you want me to roll for that to see who wins, like we're playing poker or whatever. Yeah, everyone just roll an intelligence check, I guess. Okay. How smart that's you are. Pl that's playing, yeah. Yeah, I will roll the old man. So I'd roll as well, right? Yeah, and then the kid, yeah. Oh, they both got you think Ragnar and Duras, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so uh, I just roll intelligence? Just intelligence, just straight intelligence. Okay. Okay, so Verona wins, cause, but everyone played really badly. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Everyone played <Easy> terribly. <laughs> ah, Verona, pair of twos. Who won? <laughs> so yeah, every everybody else had crap. It's the worst game. Like everyone has their worst game ever, and Verona kind of just wins by not being the worst. Well, um, like my well. great great uncle McGillicuddy once said, if you play without coin, you're bound to have a boring time. <laughs> oh, great great uncle McGillicuddy. <laughs> May his bones rest in that fryer with in peace. Uh, anyway, I was wondering if you chaps could help me out here. Uh, are you familiar with the uh, local shipwright? His son has seemed to have been gone missing in the uh, past few days, and we were just checking to see if he, uh, anyone uh, knows of his whereabouts. Jackson? His name is Samillion. The sun. Yes, Samillion. I, I apologize. I just arrived at this island. I'm giving him a favor. Uh, names are new to me. Plus, I suffered a head injury a couple days. You know. Oh, little Timmy. Isn't Samillion one of the friends of yours? Yeah. He's not been showing up to classes recently, and I got really concerned. I thought, uh, I thought he was just sick. I, this is the first time I've heard of him actually going missing. When was the last time you saw him, Little Timmy? About... I'm sorry, but must I continue insisting calling you Little Timmy? I, I don't know if that's very offensive. Well, uh, yeah, you've got to think. <laughs> Big Timmy's my dad. Yes, oh, me. Of course. I'm yeah, Big yes, Timmy. of course, obviously. You, um, you respect us. Call me Big Timmy. Call him Little Timmy. And he's got an older brother, which is bigger than Little Timmy, but littler than Big Timmy. <laughs> <laughs> and if you don't call him littler than Big Timmy, older, young, I messed up. <laughs> He looks down at his cards. Uh, old, old, <laughs> old age is getting I, I to me. You might want to. My son, just... my son would kill me. But yeah, if you don't call him smaller than Big Timmy, bigger than a Little very Timmy. Very interesting naming scheme in your family. I love it, though. But my my great 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 granddad, the biggest Timmy, he uh was a he was a renowned he was he was renowned. The, the second he says renowned, I like act super. It's like, ah, oh, Biggest Timmy. Yes, yeah, of you know of Biggest I, Timmy? I, I have heard the legends of the Biggest mm -hmm. Timmy across the seas where I grew up. The Biggest you know, Timmy. He, was, pretty big. he was He was the one that built the gallows that we currently use. That's why ah, across yes. the gallows it says Timmy Gallows. Um, hey, Duros, I'll be back in a minute. I gotta go take a piss. Hey, okay. I will join you, brother. We can piss together. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but anyway, I asked, yeah, so little Timmy is like, wh what was the last time you saw the son of the, uh, the smith, the smith? Uh, about two, two days ago, um, mm. he, uh, he said he would, he, he was going out drinking, but I didn't want to go out, and, uh, so I stayed at home, and, mm. yeah, uh, do you know where he went drinking? Well, here, Sparrow's Eyes Tavern. But when I came by the next day, he wasn't here, and mm. uh, I, I thought he would—he just got sick or something. Maybe he got food poisoning. The food, the food in this place is absolutely dreadful. I mean, isn't isn't that right, Big Timmy? That's right, Little Timmy. <laughs> I'm gonna do a quick insight on him just to make sure if like I can tell mm -hmm. if he's like being trustworthy. Oh, okay. Okay. He he seems to be withholding one piece of information. One piece. Mm. <laughs> Uh, That's why it's called the One Piece D and D because everyone's withholding yeah. One Piece of information. I, I'm looking at him and he's giving his explanation. I'm just kind of like, I'm, I'm still smirking, but I'm kind of like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Tell you what, little Timmy, let's have another hand right here. And if I happen to win, maybe you can tell me anything that you happen to be leaving out at the moment. Okay. I'm not accusing you of anything, mind. I just well, there must know, be something the that held up. Let's let the then what do I get if I win? Mm. Little Timmy plays big. 
Um, okay, so something I did do before this is I, uh, I, I rolled on the trinket table, so I do have, like, a trinket on okay. me, if, you, if you'd allow me to have yeah, that. It's you a can tiny, do that. it's a silk. It's a silver spoon that has an M engraved on it. Okay, sure. I just have that. Do it, do it. So I'm going to pull that spoon out of my back pocket, and I hold it up to him. And this is going to involve deception to a degree. All right. He's like, this here spoon, little Timmy, is a family heirloom passed down from my grandmother. A it's spoon? A silver... It's a special you, you see, You show him the spoon, and he immediately loses his shit. <laughs> <laughs> we, we haven't had spoons on this island for years. I I will play for that for a hundred percent. You don't need to convince me of anything. I was in the middle. I was in the middle of describing <laughs> the material. Of the, like, it's really the finest silver. Oh. A spoon? Well, yes, are you kidding me? Are quite you magnificent. I, I immediately I shift my gears after that reaction, after I read that reaction. And I'm like, well, yes, you see, uh, Timmy, this spoon can be used for a variety of things. For you soup. Drink soup. For soup. With it. Yes, we, yes, we've soup we've had to mind. drink soup by the edge of the bowl for years. Daddy. Well, no longer Big Timmy. with this magnificent spoon, you'll be the talk of the town, little Timmy. Ah, it's that damn mayor. He doesn't let us have spoons. But if I, I as long as I hide this spoon, it'll be okay. Okay. So, um, we're, we're gonna play another hand of like, I'm just gonna assume poker if, if we're just gonna go. Go ahead. That. Are you, um, I am gonna attempt to cheat at this. Yes. Though. Okay. So just do a sleight yeah. of hand check. Yes. I won't roll his entire. Oh, okay. So yeah, you are, you, you do such good cheating. Uh... <laughs> I, 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 yes. Okay. So I, 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 you know, I, I do a quick, you know, uh, like second deal technique or whatever. And I just like mix with the cards and yeah. Or maybe yeah. I have like an ace up my sleeve or something. Yeah. Uh, you you cheat so well that you you trick him into thinking that he's winning for a really long time, and he starts mm -hmm. betting, um, like just more and more. And so, okay. uh, eventually, when when you do win, uh, not only do you win more information, but you also win a solid ten gold as well. Yeah. Well, are we, doing are we doing berries or gold? Are we just gonna keep it? Oh, is it? Is it? Sorry, my bad. I forgot the. Yeah, it would be berries. Wait. So that would be more because it's based on yen. So it I mean, would be... like, like, like I said, like I said, if you just want to keep it simplistic, because no, no, yeah, no, 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 berries. On... I'll do berries. This is this is set in the One Piece universe. That why would he give you gold? Berries. I, 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 just to make it simpler for. Um... I guess Matt I could reason? function as. I guess you could have me function as sort of a calculator. Okay. Like, Steal his lunch money, Captain. So how much money? How much money, <laughs> roughly? Like, if you could tell me how much roughly it is in, like, you know, our world in dollars, maybe I could figure out in berries really quick, like hazard, how much that would. Be. I guess it does change from war to war how much yeah, gold see, is worth. Yeah, see, that's the problem. So I, I think okay. gold would honestly. He, he, you're work, gonna get about yeah. hundred bucks. This is about hundred dollars he's giving you. So how much is that? All in right, I would say that's like a hundred thousand berries, but like you know. Let's say ten thousand. You get ten thousand berries. Ten thousand berries. Let's just okay. Let's just do the thing where we subtract two zeros for yen and dollars. We want yeah, to yeah, do yeah. It that way. Yeah, okay, so 10,000 berries, which is, all right. He lays down, he gives you 10,000 berries. Uh, you okay. win 10,000 hold berries. Um, I was like, I kept like three aces in my sleeve, and I just, I was like, ah, little Timmy, that's a good hand, but unfortunately I have to say the cards are in my favor this day. And I lay down like, you know, like I have like a full house. <laughs> you have a royal flush full house at the same time. Oh, oh God. <laughs> it's yeah. like the ultimate thing. You're, you're playing, you're playing like advanced poker I, where you're, you're trying to get, get it like 20. I did get a 25. You also so, get four yeah. in a row and you get Uno at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and he's like, ah, oh, darn. I knew that spoon was too big, good to be true. Okay. I, I'm scoop. Uh, don't worry there. I'm a man of my I, word. I, 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 I feel you will find a spoon at some point. So I'm shoveling all the money into like my pocket and putting the spoon back in my bag. Well, and everything. I, I, I well would, then, little I, Timmy. I promised a million I won't tell him this. But As per agreement, uh, what else uh, haven't you told me yet? Well, yeah, it's true that he came to the Sparrow's Eye Tavern. But he came mm -hmm. here for a particular reason, which was he was going to buy some, um, some substances. I obviously wouldn't, didn't want to tell that because substances aren't particularly the most legal. They're fine. He just he met up with someone in the tavern, who was going to sell him substances, and... Um, I can understand why that behavior would not be uh, accepted on this island. I yeah, kind of look course. out the window so, at, the, at the gallows, yes. Yes. Um, so, if he went up to the... with the bartender, then perhaps know of the substances which you speak. Um, is he... Well, I ask, is he the one that, uh, that uh, the son t uh, spoke to? I, 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 he wasn't the person he was meeting with. I didn't know who he was meeting with. But mm. the bartender is very observant. Um, mm. He does see a lot of things. 
It's those glasses of him. They give him plus one to perception. <laughs> okay. I look at I look at little Timmy and I just kind of like I smile and I slap him on the shoulder. I'm like, "You did good, little Timmy. Someday I believe you will at least have one spoon, nay, maybe even two spoons in your oh, collection." Man, I hope so. I hope so. You hear that, big Timmy? One day I'll have two spoons. <laughs> two spoons. He wipes a tear from his eye. Two spoons. <laughs> Big Timmy put Pat's his little son on the head. All right, so I'm proud of I'm, you, son. I'm, at least, at least I could die knowing that I've seen a spoon. <laughs> I take out the spoon once more. I'm just like, well, I can't give it to you, mind you. But if you could etch this memory into your minds, then yes. I at least did my job. I advise. I'm glad that I could, I could provide. To I you. advise you put it away as soon as you can before I go crazy. I put it away. <laughs> um, all right, so I, I'm done with the table. If you want to move over to Duros's little adventure at the bar now, yeah. All right, Doris and Ragnar, you are at the bar. The bartender looks up and goes, Oh, hello. What can I interest you in today? Oh, yes. Well, first off, we would definitely enjoy a drink together. Ah. Me and Ragnar, we've had a long day, haven't we, my friend? Uh, Tell me about it. I could go for an ale right about now. Drinks are about 500 berries. Do we have that right now? I whispered. <laughs> you, you guys have no money. The only person here with money. I don't know what Barry. Bear, bear in mind, oh. this is going on at the exact same time as William's thing, so William hasn't won his money yet. I, I was going to say, yeah, this yeah. is going concurrently. So, yeah, yeah, so I I, I William is still playing cards at this point. So yeah. you, you actually don't have money. Well, then I, I suppose... You can put it on. You can put it on that guy <laughs> in the corners tab. Uh. <laughs> well, I mean, roll up. He's a good. He's a All good right, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Do it. Do a persuasion. Just do a persuasion. I see deception. You could do deception uh, or persuasion. I think it's the same number. So, do I roll um, with them or what do no, I? No, my uh, deception is better than my perception. Okay. Yeah, they're both. Okay. No persuasion. I don't see persuasion. It's next. Oh, persuasion. Oh, wow, this good persuasion. It's on there. Yep. Okay. Uh, because oh. you no, but no, because he's helping you. Uh, that means you have advantage. So, uh, you roll get the again. seventeen. No, you oh, get the oh, seventeen. Oh. Oh, okay, cool. The bigger number mm -hmm. of the two. So, so he... I am dumb, but quite charismatic, apparently. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're, everyone, you're a friendly guy. People like you. Yeah, they're not mutually exclusive. You could be yeah. dumb as a brick, and you could still be, like, super charismatic. People just trust you. you. Yeah. yeah. Ah, okay, fair yeah. enough. Well, uh, here's two ales coming up. Pink, pink. Here you go, my good oh, sir. This, this looks amazing. Cheers, uh, brother. Cheers. We clang the glasses. Ah, oh, yes, delicious. Gulp, gulp, gulp. Now, my friend, I have something I wish to ask of you. Have you noticed any sort of shady folk uh, wandering these parts in the last few days? A single bead of sweat drips down his face. He goes, no, I have no idea what you are talking about. Now, uh, well, hmm, do I do, a, do I do intimidation on this here? I, mean, I, got, I got my boy Ragnar right yeah. next to me. Both, you would have advantage on an intimidation check because both of you <laughs> yeah, are big yeah. boys. Uh, now, now, Mr. Bartender, you have a lovely bar here. We wouldn't want any trouble in here, and especially not any of pirate folk or anything like that. Would you mind telling us what you know? All right, do an intimidation with advantage. Okay. So you just click it and take uh, the highest number. So I just hit intimidation, yeah. right? Yeah, and you got 24, you got a crit. Oh! Does the man. <laughs> he, Jesus. Uh, you can faintly smell the smell of, like, urine. Um... <laughs> as he has clearly, I hope that wet. wasn't in our drink. <laughs> no, as, as as he has clearly wet himself, and he he goes, oh, okay, okay, I'm, I, yeah, uh, uh. he he like comes up to you and he like wh whispers in hushed tones, okay, I was paid a lot of money not to share this, so don't tell anyone that I told you. But I know if I don't tell you, you're gonna crush my skull, and I don't want that to happen. But if I told people, they they said they would crush my skull, and I just want my skull to remain uncrushed. Thank you very much. So don't worry, friend. I will not crush any skulls as long as we get our information. We are okay. here to protect. All right. I mean, I can't make any promises. <laughs> yes, okay. well, okay. my boy. So watch out. You listen, better tell us. <laughs> listen to me. So, okay. What I what I what I saw. Um, I saw. Um, wait, what are you asking me? You asked me if there's any suspicious characters. Oh, anything that's happened to a certain... I, I forgot the kid's name. Simillion. 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 Yes, uh, or if something happened to a, a certain person named Simillion, if you uh, would know. Simillion. Yeah, so uh, he came in here with one of, the, one of the anglers, 
and they took him to the alleyway outside. I don't know what happened after that, but I heard screaming, and then when the angler came back in here, oh, different angler, and he, he gave me some money not to tell anyone about it. So you don't know the identities of any of these anglers, do you? Well, they're a, they're a crew. They're a pirate crew. You know how to the anglers? They're led by Rodney Poldark. They, Rodney they're, Poldark. They're a band of really perturbed fishermen. Ah, uh, you would... Where would they reside in this fair city? Oh, I, I don't know that. Um, but, uh... You'd, you'd have to find another way of getting that information. All I know is that, uh... I, I know of the crew. They were, they were a menace. Um, and if something's happened to Samillion, it's definitely happened to him. I'd, I'd just say look at the alleyway. There might be some, something there that could help you. Well, thank you. Let us have another drink, my friend Ragnar. How would you say another round before we go outside and do that? That yes. sounds amazing. Uh, 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 the drinks are on the house. Please, please, please don't crush. Please don't Why, crush how me. generous of you. Very generous. Good I like this you. guy. I like this guy. You are my friend now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, really? <laughs> Really? Yes, uh, of yeah. course. You are you are a very nice gentleman. We would never dream of crushing your skull in a million years. Ever, you are now part of my comrades. Ever, <laughs> ever since my wife died, I have not really had any friends. So that makes me pour so... yourself a drink, my friend. That drink makes, with yes. us. That makes have a me drink so with us. happy. That makes me. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Pearl actually walks up and goes. Uh, do you mind if I also have a drink? I was just sort of oh. standing here and I, I saw you guys drinking and I, you know, I like alcohol too. A drink for the lady, of course. Yeah, have some of mine. Uh, if she's with yes. you, then it's on the house. Mm. You get three more, three more alcohols. <laughs> three more alcohols. Three more alcohols. <laughs> We're getting smashed. We're getting yeah, drunk. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, at All this right. point, you've just won the, the 10,000, oh. William. So. It's like, it's like huzzah and i walk over to the bar and i'm like ah gentlemen i have procured us funds also if you want anyone in this town to do anything just show them a spoon <laughs> <laughs> just don't ask me don't ask me why just show them a spoon a spoon i see i will keep that in mind fair captain yes all right so we discovered that the missing boy simeleon he might have been in purchase of some strange substance here at this inn two days past. Hmm. And we have discovered that a, a group of pirates named the Anglers have taken our boy, and perhaps there's a clue in this alleyway. Ah, I see. The mystery is afoot after all. I tighten my bicorn hat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So, um... I mean, we could finish our drinks first. <laughs> I just, I just I mean, won a card game wait, for my kid. Wait, <laughs> round is on me, Captain. The tavern keeper. And I throw down um, however oh, much. You have more friends day. than I thought you did. Uh, it's on the house. Well, I'm out of my word. The man over in the corner was going to pay for our first round. Oh, yeah, good point. Well, it's... Uh, yeah. Right now, would never lie. It's on the house now, so you don't need to pay anything. Ah, uh, lovely, lovely. I love this man. man. Well done. <laughs> this is my finest drinking establishment in this entire city. It's the first, <laughs> it's only the second place I've been in the city, granted, but I really do love, truly love, ah, truly love it. <laughs> per Pearl is, I can't talk very well. Pearl is fucking chucking some alcohol, uh, some ale right. right now. You notice that even though you're inside, Pearl still has her hood up. Um, mm. Okay. Mm. Ah, All right. this is amazing stuff, innkeeper. Um, could I get some more? I, I, I guess, yes, of course. <laughs> ah, amazing. More, please. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my. Okay. okay. Oh, very well. Okay. <laughs> wow. Ah. Oh, wow. Ooh. Okay, so. She drinks more than you, Ragnar. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how she can walk after that. <laughs> <sighs> Feels good. Okay, mm so I finish my drink and I'm like, well, suppose we should go check on an alleyway. Ah, yes, indeed, Captain. I will very well lead the charge to make sure you are well protected. Thank uh, you. I mean, like... It I don't think this is something that requires all of us. It could just be me and Duros. Um, you can stay in here and keep watch on Pearl if you so desire. Ah, I, if you want to come, I mean, if you want to come, I it's fine. I'm just do not need anyone 
to keep watching me, I can keep watching myself. Well, but if I'm any, watch if any on, of, um... if any of these strong men want to stay here and have more drinks with me, then they can. She sort I'll of stay slips. here and keep eye, uh, keep an eye on uh, the barkeep and his ale. <laughs> very, very, here as well. A very keen very eye well, right now. We shan't be long. Come along, Duras. Let's go. Uh, let's let's go uh, find a mystery, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> let's go be detectives. Yeah, let's go be detective pirates now. Yes. All right. Oh, okay. So we um. Okay. So we go around, I guess, to the uh, back of the um inn. <laughs> or yeah. Okay. Um. So what does the alley look like at just first glance? Uh, as you go into the alleyway, it, it it's relatively bare, but you can smell sort of the stench of blood. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. That is a smell that most of us are quite acquainted with, if I do say so myself. Yes, I was bleeding earlier today. Yes. Well, no, that was two days ago, but... <laughs> Oh yes, that's right. <laughs> are, you, are, you, are you still bleeding, Duras? Is... <laughs> hey, I've lost a lot of blood. Duras, Duras, I, I forgot to mention because you guys technically long rested, you have all your hit points back now. Oh you yeah, that's, yeah, that's you are fully healed. You might have accidentally nicked an artery. That's not. <laughs> um, it's all right. the ale, even though I'm not even in the room right now. <laughs> right, okay. I heard you now. Thank you, my friend. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'll roll investigation. I'll um just you know. All right, have a snoop around. Oh, that's, yeah, snoop that's good around. enough. So, okay. Uh, as you're like looking, and you see that sort of the stained blood. One thing that strikes you as particularly odd is little like fishing bait, like little little worms, uh, mm. on just sort of on the ground, in various okay. places. It looks like mm. kind of premium fishing bait. Pretty pretty nice. Yeah. yeah. For a town like this, I'd, I'd say if it wasn't premium, that'd be kind of like common to see, basically, because it would look just like worms and like yeah, grubs yeah. on the ground and stuff. It's, it'd be like yeah. that's common, but yeah, yeah. They're, they're they're very fine quality fishing. Yeah, bait I can clearly I can clearly tell that yeah, like they're fishing bait. I'm like uh, okay, and it's so good. Well, it must be lot considering that the anglers are their uh, their preferred name, I can see the connection. It's strange that they carry such great bait wherever they go and drop it in such great it's quantities. It's yeah. a shame they are wasting it. We should honestly, you know, maybe I'm, I'm actually tempted to keep this if it's that good quality fishing bait. It sort of seems like they just have so much on them at all times that they, <laughs> it can't happen but like spill, especially if there was some sort of tussle. Um, the, the, the blood is obviously like dried uh, two days old sort of blood, yeah. but it doesn't seem to be a lot of blood. It's not like dead uh, person blood levels. Yeah, it's not like a bucket. It's, of, like, oh, okay. it's like, oh, he got cut, maybe. Uh, a do fight we, happened. Do hmm. we see anything along the lines of like the blood drag? Like there's like, I, him being I have away a or anything? Follow the blood. worms, Captain. Maybe they're spilling a passage <laughs> for us to follow. Follow the worms. Okay, I, I attempt to follow the, the worm. worms. The worm trail. Okay, <laughs> you start looking to see if there's like a worm trail. Uh, yes. But as you as it leads back to the uh, like it leads down another alleyway and then um, it's the worms get sort of less and less and then they the the, mm. the, the worm trail like runs out and it you could assume that's because. The worms only really spilt because they were in a fight, and in under wow. normal circumstances, they wouldn't just spill. Okay. Um, like, mm, it, it would seem the trail goes uh, cold here, Duros. But mm. they are a very particular kind of like bait worm. Uh, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna yeah. scoop up a few of them and put them in like in a little bag if I have that. Uh -huh. like, I, oh, ask who sells these worms. Yes. Well, that was a good idea. Hmm. So hmm. I I keep some of them, not all of them, but just enough in a bag. I'm like. Ah, uh, very well then. I think that's uh, all I, we can tell from here. And uh, uh, I'm gonna just walk back into the uh, tavern then. Sweet. Yes. So you walk back into the tavern, bag full of worms. Yes. <laughs> Welcome uh, back, yeah, laddies. We have a bag of worms, lads. The finest <laughs> quality fishing bait this <laughs> side of the Grand Line. Look at these worms, they're amazing. <laughs> Are we planning a fishing trip, boys? Well, we can now. <laughs> So you, you come back in with a bag of worms. Uh, do you want to ask anyone in the tavern about the bag? Or you're going to... I'm going to... We should ask our this, friend the bucket. I'm, I'm going yes. to lay this bag of worms right down on the bar. And just leaves like a splat. I'm like, oh. what can you tell me about these worms, sir? Worms? We found them strewn about your alley. They uh, are not the regular kind of crappy worms. These are very high quality worms. Oh, yeah, of course. Yes. Uh, I mean, I only one place I know sells worms like these. Um... 
Yeah, it's it's Mort's fishing supplies. He's quite popular, but um, ah, uh, my grandmother also told me never trust a man named Mort. Yeah, well, they call him Mort the Wart. Oh, now I definitely don't trust him. Um, <laughs> but uh, that's all I know. I I, I would tell well. you everything I knew. You guys are very scary, and I uh, I like I like my body the shape it is. Very Do you well. think we should go ask the Timmy's captain? Uh, the the Timmy's, Timmy's might perhaps. Uh, well, I mean, I was. Where, where is perhaps Mort the Wart's shop at? Oh, it's Bar just Keep. on the uh, the main shopping district. You got various uh, different shops, and it's it's quite near the harbor area, obviously, because fishermen need to, well. to get there. Have have some worms for your trouble. I take three worms out and I just lay them on the counter next to. Oh, me. <laughs> thank you very much. Um, uh. He like picks one up and looks at it, and he's so kind of socially awkward that he he looks around at everyone staring at him, and he sort of puts one in his mouth like that's what he's supposed to be doing. <laughs> and then he Whoa. like swallows, and he goes, mm, "Tastes great, thank you very much." <laughs> um, Yikes. not the preferred use, but they are an excellent source of fiber, I must say. So, and zero zero carbs. So, <laughs> great. Well. Uh, <laughs> I love this guy. What a character. <laughs> what, a, what a splendid barkeep. I was not expecting such great humor from you as well. You are okay in my books. What is your name, barkeep? I don't think I got it. Oh, my name? Uh... It's okay if you forget it. We often do that on our own. It's all right. It's, We've it's, all been... it's Tillery Nesberg. Tillery Nesberg. That name shall be put down when I, when I become the greatest pirate. In the world, we will remember you, Tillery Nessenberg. Wait, you lots of you guys are pirates? Looks can be deceiving. That was just a joke, you see. We are merely travelers escorting this woman uh, and helping out a local shipwright, of course. You can understand humor where you hear it. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm. I mean, I, I could roll deception for that and no, see how no, well he, he, he is too intimidated. Okay, yeah, and right, you right, can right. say anything to him. <laughs> oh, Me God. and Ragnar got you, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well then, um, I'd say uh, it is to Mort's the Watch shop that we uh, hitherto next, gentlemen. I think this time Sounds I'm going to join you guys in uh, in leaving the shop. Otherwise, I'm going to drink this man dry. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if our bard, t I mean, you could probably just take some extra ale for the road if you desire. He has offered us all courtesies. <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, I, uh, yeah. I do not wish to burden this man anymore. The drinks were quite delicious. Thank you that so much. That they were. That they were. Ragnar well, leans man. over and grabs a little bottle of ale and sneaks it in his pocket. <laughs> a bottle <laughs> of ale. Kill oh yeah. Guy. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get my ale bottled, please. <laughs> With a nice little plastic <laughs> cap on the top. Bottle of yes. ale. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> they have. They have mugs, and they have barrels. A barrel is not big enough to fit in your pocket, Ragnar. <laughs> <laughs> Ragnar just grabs a barrel, puts it over his shoulder, and walks out. Yeah, I mean, hey. Ragnar grabs a barrel, and then he's like, well, I can't get this through the door. I guess, uh, I, guess I can't bring it with me. Big sad. Uh, you Big guys sad. venture into, this, into the town. The Timmies wave okay. you on your way out. Fare thee well, little Timmy. Keep those, uh, those eyes on the prize. <laughs> hey, you guys, go back into town. Uh, uh, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful day. I wanted to mention, everything's lovely, sun is shining, and you start- On the, on, on the dead bodies on the gallows. Yeah, yeah, it smells, but it seems like people are used to it. Um, the entire sort of city reeks of dead bodies and fish. Um, oh, by the way, men, I forgot earlier, we share our winnings, of course, are all part of the same crew, so I'm gonna divide up the money I gave to, to my crew. Oh, sweet, so, so 10,000 divided by five. Yeah, so 2,000, right? Wait, yeah, wait. Why do I give yeah. me one to the girl? The girl's not really part of our crew yet. Oh, sorry, divided by... F True. Yeah, okay, so I yeah. guess you do it divided by... Yeah. I, I, so okay. Are... That's okay, you don't need to give any to me. I'm... I mean, I, we no, just no, met you. Yeah, I, don't, no. I don't know why you would presume you are... No, no, I didn't, I wasn't presu I didn't presume anything. No, I'm, no, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm happy that you got that money. Uh, and, um... 
<laughs> and I'm happy to have have this alcohol that I had. Very well then. Onward to Mort the Watch. I just cut her off. Just... <laughs> <laughs> you you walk down the road, and then you eventually be, get to the entrance of the fisherman shop. Hey Verona, huge... before we enter this shop, do you mind holding on to my money? I'm not I'm not very good with these berries or whatever the hell you guys call it. I got you, Ragnar. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. So, um... Yeah. Uh, just for reference, like, in for lore, they do... It, it is paper money. It's paper money and coins in the One Piece world, so... Okay. Thank you. Yeah. 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 So, okay, we walk in. Uh, you walk in. Ding, ding, ding! Okay. Ooh, wait, that, that's me trying to make a bell noise, but it sounded not like a bell. <laughs> it's, uh, it's sort of like... Chick -chick, and... Ding, 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 ding. You know, you know what one of those sound like. Ding, ding. Yes, it's, it's, it's <laughs> yeah, a, yeah, like a really. like a bell, like a bell on the door when you open yeah. it. Ding, ding. Yeah, yeah. So you yeah, okay. you, you walk in and yes. uh, but sitting by the there's nobody in the shop right now. By the counter, you see you see a man, uh, and it, he has he has like a hood that sort of covers most of his face. You can really only see his mouth, and he's sort okay. of like hunched over the counter, and it looks like he's he's looking through some worms. Okay, so he's like another customer then, as far as we. No, can no, tell. this this is the guy behind the counter. Oh, okay, he's behind the counter. Yeah, oh, he's just oh. looking at worms. Um, okay. Sort of, per, per, you know, checking their quality and stuff. And there's fishing equipment on the walls, like fishing rods and worm baits and like mm. hats and that sort of thing. Good day, shopkeep. Hello. Are you here to buy some worms? Which you perhaps, like to buy. sir, perhaps, but rather I would like to, for you to tell me something about these specimens. And once again, I just lay them on the counter and open up the bag. <sighs> Does he actually make that sound? Yes, he makes that sound. <laughs> oh. oh, my special I, worms. Uh, okay. I kind of, I don't take them off the counter, but as he makes that noise, I kind of just hold them back a little bit. <laughs> he um, looks down and goes, okay. Where did you get these? They're my special. We found produce, them, as a matter of fact. Quite a, you know, interesting story. We found them on the ground behind the local inn. Oh, they were wiggling very, very emphatically. And why are you here? <laughs> a well, single we, bead uh... of sweat drops down his forehead. <laughs> 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 This is a rather sweaty town. Well, actually, geez. no. You, you can only see that. Sorry, he's got a cowl on, so you just see yeah, a bit of right, sweat yeah, on his yeah, chin. Right. Mm. Well, it seems that we are we're right now. We are searching for a missing individual, and uh, through one thing leads to another. These worms seem to be connected to this individual's disappearance. It is he's the son of the local shipwright. Oh, um, and I can't help but feel that you know something about this individual. I know nothing. Uh, mm. And would may you I like introduce to... you to my friend? <laughs> may I introduce you to my friend Ragnar? <laughs> Hello. What is your name? Ah, uh, my name is Mort. <laughs> uh, my name is. I'm gonna be honest. I have no clue what's going on, but my friend William here is very interested in some things you have to say to him. Uh, okay. Um... I I would just say right out of the gate, sir. It would most. It would be in your best interest to not lie in the presence of Ragnar. Okay, Ragnar, do you want to do an intimidation? <laughs> and you'll get uh, help from William. So, you yeah. get advantage on the roll. Yes, sir. You got an 18, so... Um... Yeah, okay. Oh! Right. Oh! Okay. They... Oh, I don't want to compromise... Allow me to reword my que... Oh, okay. Go ahead. I don't want to compromise my position with them. Oh. Very well. Uh, th would these individuals perhaps be the anglers? Yes. Well, you know about the anglers. I'm the. We haven't heard the name yet. I I, I make a special Let delivery for them. Ragnar hates lies. Okay, I make a special delivery for them every week of this type of bait. I don't know what they do with it. I never see them fishing, but they may. I I, I deliver it personally. Hmm. Where perhaps do you? Do you... The ground. <laughs> where where perhaps? Where, where perhaps do you oh, deliver them to? If you promise you don't tell anyone I know, and also, um, you promise that this big guy doesn't doesn't smash my nose. Uh, well, I can't promise anything, my but no I, my nose he is, is the only my, thing. he does listen to my worry, I am the captain, I can only promise you so much. That is really up to you, honestly, if he doesn't beat your brain. Okay, uh, I, 
Um, I deliver them, and please don't tell anyone about this because it's a big secret, and only I know. So I, 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 I inch in just like really close. Like, where do the worms lie? They have their base in the in the in the wine cellar of the mayor's mansion. Lovely to the capital. mayor's mansion. <laughs> to the wine. <laughs> I just like <laughs> capital. <laughs> okay, but um, don't tell anyone. Yeah, you can have a worm for your trouble, sir. In fact, have two. I can tell that you are quite fascinated by them. Also, if you can, you do me a favor. Maybe. Um, we're, we're already performing a favor for one individual today, but if the price is right, our commission does go up. Um, so if you, if they do, if they do ask where you found the information from, don't just say anything, because they'll suspect, oh, they'll suspect no, me. No, 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 Pl- no, no, please, sir, please I... say, please say that you got your information from Gene the Clean. Is Gene the Clean an individual that would suffer because of this ac- accusation? He's the only other person that knows, so mm, they would believe that. I, I just, see, I'm trying to protect... so you're trying to cover your own, are you? I mean, yeah, I did <laughs> I help. like you, sir. Yeah, and uh, he always bullies me anyway, because I'm more the wart, and I have ugly warts all over my body, and he's Gene the Clean, because he, he has perfect clear skin. Are you two brothers, perhaps? That seems like a rather odd, you know, your, your nicknames happen to be even out to each other, you know, opposites. Uh, when, when... My friend, do not worry, your warts mean nothing to me. I have scars all over my body. Every inch of me is covered in nasty scars and bruises, but that's not change what's inside, and that is the heart. It is beautiful and bountiful, my friend. You could have a beautiful heart, even if you have a wart, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> wow, thank you. Nobody's ever said that to me before. You know what? Have this hat. He gives you a hat for free. A lovely hat. Thank you, sir. It's on the house. (laughs) And you put the hat on. Um, Put the hat on over his armor. (laughs) Just on the helmet. (laughs) Before we continue, uh, how are you guys all doing (laughs) stamina-wise? Stamina-wise. But like, how are you? You doing? Okay. I I, I need to pee real quick if anyone needs to pee. Oh, go for it. Yeah, go pee. Um, and then, unlike me, who just went mid game. My apologies. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. You were drinking. <laughs> uh, and then, um, yeah, I guess we'll keep going until you find find this guy's son. Is, this, is that good with everyone? Sure. Sounds good. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, let me pee real quick. Uh, you guys, uh, I don't know, sing a song or something. Yo ho ho! Yo well, ho ho! Purchase anything inside of this fishing establishment. <laughs> While he's gone, lovely, I'm gonna real yeah. quick feed my cats, so they're yeah, not. Go cat. the yeah, go feed your cat. The cats seem rather. Yeah, those poor cats. Those poor little kitties. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. I'm kind of. Th- I've been thrust into the position of captain, but I. I you know, it's fun. Anyway. Someone in chat that said, "Go get a beer, Briggs. You've earned it." I'm. I'm way ahead of myself. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm way ahead, ahead of you, my friends. Yeah, I've been back <laughs> and forth with the chat as much as I can. I mean, you're the one who played D&D before, so, like, I, I, I don't feel comfortable in such a heavy position not playing Noble, the Noble, game. I can tell you, Noble, I can tell you're doing a fantastic job. Yeah, okay. The yeah, voice I nails. I was, kind of, I was so upset that I rolled a very dumb roll. No, you guys uh, are doing all good. Like, it's fine. You know, like, honestly, I, when, I've been having fun being Ragnar. Yeah, when I first started, when I first started, I was always, you know, you're not going to know everything right away. It's understandable. Yeah. Yeah, it's all right. You'll pick it up. And at first, I thought it I had terrible long, persuasion because you guys were saying that I was dumb. But I didn't actually look at all my stats, and now I realize that my persuasion is actually like one of my highest stats, other than other than uh, like strength and athletics. Mm. Yeah, uh, uh, intimidation's really up there for besides athletics for me. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. It's so fucking... we're similar characters. Mort yeah. D. Wart. <laughs> <laughs> Mort D. Wart. Okay, sorry. Sheen D. Clean. Okay. Um. So then, uh, I, I suppose we must be off now to the anglers. Uh, one second here, Captain. I've got one thing to ask more before we go. Would you like a fishing rod? They do seem rather pristine. What, what's the, what, what do you want to wanna know? Tell us about this mare of yours. I hear he doesn't like spoons. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he has a, a fear of spoons. Some, some, 
some man came by many years ago and he said that uh, a spoon would be his demise. Uh, and uh, now he, he outlawed all spoons. And this is a strangely curious prophecy. I, I know, it's, it, it, it makes no sense to me, but I, I'm fine without spoons. I just eat fish, and you can eat a fish with a knife and fork. Thank you, Mort. You've been a great help. Has your mayor also outlawed the spork? I don't know what a spork is. It's like a spoon and a fork. That sounds terrible. Why would anyone make that or use that? It's actually the finest utensil this side of the red line, and I guarantee you your life will change for the better. Once we rid... I, I, I'm so... I, I, I can't even right now. We should just go. <laughs> Thanks for the hat, my friend. You're welcome. You do look rather dashing in that hat there. It's You're a right. fisherman's hat. You know the ones that sort of have a round brim like that? Yeah, yeah they got like the little, like, the little bobbles on the yeah, side yeah. and stuff. Mm. What uh, a beautiful hat. <laughs> I feel so fancy. <laughs> so, uh, you make your way out of the, the fisherman place. Do you want to go straight to the, to the mayor's mansion, or do you want to do anything mm. beforehand? Mm. I mean, Durek is gun ho We know where we need to go, <laughs> to the mayor's mansion. <laughs> do we still have the girl with us? Pearl? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, she's, yeah, she's still, still with us. She's I'm, been awfully quiet. I'm... Can I just say that I'm not a big fan of this Mort, the Mort guy? Hey, don't be so mean to him. He's a poor, unfortunate soul. I, I can't imagine being all watered. I mean... What type, what type of man sells out his friend? Clean. The clean. Uh, I don't think they were friends, Ragnar. They, they sounded more like Again, enemies to me. Ragnar, it is not the scars or how you look on the outside, but the lovely gruff inside that you have too, my friend. I... I oh, sorry? I, I just understand being in a desperate situation like that. I mean... I would sell you a guys real out. Man. If... A real man stands up for himself, you, you lives see... his life like an open book. Po po None of this. <laughs> po betraying. Poe goes, I, 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 I mean, I obviously would sell you guys out if it meant I could keep my life. Well, well thank you for just giving a really like good you. reason to leave you behind. No, 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 no. <laughs> William, William, with your passive perception, because she's yes. so bad at it, you could tell that she's okay. lying. Oh, okay, gotcha. I'm like, <laughs> ah, yes. You... Yes, Pearl, of course. Ha ha. Um, Don't worry. Well, I was, I, uh, if you would die because of such information, I would gladly you lead them to me. So I will defeat them for you if ever the chances arise. Okay. Mm. Um. Men, we make for the mayor's manor. However, I will say one stipulation. For this particular instance, we are not pirates. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Uh, okay. Very, and I, I, I wink at everybody. Get it? So wh what are we then? Hmm, we are, I guess, just adventurers, I suppose, or perhaps a traveling circus, you know, whichever. Uh, oh, I have a fisherman hat. Perhaps <laughs> I could pass as a fisherman. <laughs> okay. So I you, think you could. You guys walk along the path to the mayor's manor, and you, as you approach it, you notice it is sort of a gated uh, yeah, very, yeah. situation. Um, You're not pirates. It's You're on not top of a hill. Uh, in front of the gate stands a guard, and it, just one guard, and he, he's sort of looking around. He doesn't notice you guys yet. You see him before he sees you guys. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Hmm. Well, I, I gather everyone together and is like, well, I've been in this situation before more times than I can count. I mean... Rushing the place is probably not the best opportunity, the opportunity <laughs> thing right now. Um, we could try to ease our way in, though. I'm not sure they might allow all of us in at once. That might be a little bit too much of a tall order. What do you think, Ragnar, my friend? Do we just go up to the man and ask to let us, us, us in? That sounds like a brilliant plan. I don't see how, what, <laughs> how it could go wrong at all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Uh, you want to? What, 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 what do you think, Verona? Is the guard on the in front of the gate or behind the gate? He's immediately in front of the gate. Okay. Hmm. Well, if you guys we can could... distract the guard, perhaps I could jump over the fence and unlock it from the other side. Good point. Well, I'm sure he has an interesting story. I would be glad to talk to the guard. Very well then. Uh, here's the. Uh, okay. Here's the plan then. If we can. Be all right with this situation. Verona, uh, he has a gun, right? Spooky. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's right. not a Perhaps silence it... gun. 
No. Well, okay. Then that idea kind of went out the window. Then with that, uh... <laughs> it is. It is like a you know a musket. It goes as guns do. <laughs> very, All right. Very well, Verona. If you and um, Ragnar would try to seek out another way in, perhaps me and Duras could distract the guard for long enough. Okay. Is that the plan, Captain? I, I would say that is the plan. I think me and Duras can handle distracting the guard. All right, Verona and Ragnar, do you want a stealth? Yes. Go ahead and do your stealth rolls. Uh, Duras and... stealth and... Yeah, yeah. Duras <laughs> and William, you walk up to the guard. All right, you okay. guys got pretty good stealths. Okay. Mm. Um, All right. I, 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 will, I will saunter. <laughs> oi, oi, oi. I will... I will walk with, like, a swagger in <laughs> he, my step, you know? He, he sees you coming, he goes, Oi, 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 what's all this, then? Ah, uh, good morning, lovely day, is it not? The sun is shining, the wind is blowing through the gallows below. Aye. Do you like my hat, good sir? Aye, I see you're a fisherman. <laughs> yes, yes, I am. I, 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 I so, in character, like, chuckle, like... <laughs> yes, of course. He is one of the finest, I have to say, and I've met in my travels. So, what you guys want with the mayor? Who do you have another reason uh, why you're here? Well, you see, we are travelers, sir. I, my business is entertainment, and must I say, I've been to many islands, I've been in the sitting rooms of many a lord and a lady, and I have to just spread my mystical wiles, and I'm just gonna do, like, a really simple kind of card trick where I just, like, wave my hands and just, like, cards at it, like a simple, like, sleight of hand kind of deal. Oh. Like, cards, and then back in my sleeve and stuff like that. Um, so you want me to roll a sleight of hand on that? Uh, yeah, go or, ahead. Uh, what would that be? Uh, performance. It would be performance, actually. Yeah, that would be performance. Oh, perform can... performance. Okay, performance. Uh, Wait, can... uh, your, your performance is better anyway, so... <laughs> okay, okay, cool, cool. So I, I do that really quick. I just, like, pull cards out of my sleeves and then just do a little bit of a flip and then just, like, nothing. I was like, ah, uh, so... Very impressive. Yes, yes, I am quite talented, I must admit, humbly, of course. So, uh, I only ask that if your mayor of this humble town is interested in such tricks, I may, I, I can entertain, uh, I have you many more know tricks what? where that came from. You know, he's been quite bored of it as of late, you might be just the thing he needs. Uh, stay here, uh, be a dear, I will just be going in and I will talk to him myself and I'll come out and give you the verdict. He sort yes. of, he puts the key into the gate, he opens it, he opens it, okay. and then he's, he's closing it behind him. Locks it, okay. and then he walks, okay. and now he's inside the house. Verona and Ragnar, you both are sneaking round the side. Uh, are you looking? Do you want to do a per perception check? Can yeah, I'm an, looking um, for another way in. Can I do like an athletics thing and try to throw Verona over the gate? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I sure. Mean... Yeah, go ahead. Do an athletics. If Verona consents. All right, Verona. I'm going to attempt to throw you over this gate. Wait, what? Uh... I'm just going to assume you're just going to throw me without my consent. <laughs> <laughs> Verona, you fly through the air. Uh, <laughs> Verona, do you want to do acrobatics? <laughs> do you want to do acrobatics to see if you land? Yeah, yeah how do you I would land? Like to get some acrobatics. Uh, well, it's 12. You don't have advantage on it cuz you <laughs> So, you 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 don't injure yourself, but you do have a kind of rough landing. Um okay. oh. uh, And then I get mad Verona was all right. I threw him a little hard there. Is Verona in uh, eyesight of myself and... Yes, you can see it, because they hadn't traveled that far. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna just, mm. like, look over toward him and direct him, you know, like, come over here, the guard's gone, like, toward the gate, you know, like, I give him the wave. Yeah, over. yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. You come over. Okay. Is there any way you can... Is there any other way you can unlock the gate from your end? What would I roll to check this lock right here? Investigation. Investigation? Go ahead. Oh, they were going to let us in. I don't know why. Do not worry, Verona. You look at the lock. You notice that the guard has left his keys in. <laughs> <laughs> I, did, oh I, never, I never said he took the keys out when he, was, he walked in. So, so yeah, Captain he, he locked a, it, a signal. left the keys okay. in, and okay. went inside. All right. All right. Open up the gate. The all right, all right, hold on. I'm going to actually try to think about this for a second. Um, you know, honestly, I think the best thing that we should honestly do is... If me and Duras, because the card's going to come back pretty soon. If me and Duras stay at the gate, you guys could sneak into the, you could sneak into the manor, Verona, and you could, uh, you know, figure out what you can like watch and look around and see what's going on. Um, but what about Ragnar? He's still outside. Where am I? Where am <laughs> I? Where did everyone go? How do I, I, I get back? 
I could attempt to sway the guard. I, I think I'm on the guard's good side. I might be able to sway him an extra admittance in here. I can make him out to be one of my partners in my magical act. Right? Poe looks over to you, William, and goes, um, they said he was in the wine cellar, right? Yes, he was. Do you not want to look around, uh, just in case there might be some sort of way into the wine cellar that doesn't involve actually going into the manor? Well, I, what a brilliant young lady! <laughs> Well, Listen, I'm I, the captain. I, I mean, but... I'm a, a ditz, you know, you guys can all be stupid, like, let's walk into the mayor's manor and just be like, we're here to fight some pirates that live underneath you. But, I mean... <laughs> Listen, I don't mind a good not, battle, a good I battle. I, I, I haven't, I haven't, plan at all. I haven't been with you guys for very long, but if Doris tries to do anything sneaky, it seems like everyone within a 12 mile radius will know, <laughs> can hear the clap of his ass cheeks. <laughs> well, that's, that's quite true, young lady. Rather bold of you to say, but I, I'm a little embarrassed. <laughs> just okay, a, then. Just a suggestion. I mean, after all, you are all the right. captain here. Yeah. Verona, what would you prefer to do here? Because you might be able to just, like unlock the gate, come out, and you know. <laughs> hmm. This is where Verona's like. <laughs> Sneak I was into never... <laughs> the manor and look around, or we... this is where Verona's Verona like. I was never in. part of your crew to begin with, and then just <laughs> <laughs> fucking fucks off inside the manor. Uh, I suppose it would be a little easier on our parts if we were to try to sneak around and look for a way in. Very well then. So, um, I, I, I guess you could just unlock the gate and come out, yeah, so... Yeah, I mean, <laughs> look for a way in around the manor, not around the gate. Oh, oh no, oh, okay, yeah, like, so yeah, yeah, inside oh, okay. Inside, still inside right. the gate, so, yeah, yeah. Oh, Alright, cool. Um, I'm just walking around aimlessly outside the gate, trying to figure no, out how I, I could give you, I could give you, the, well, yeah, I guess I could give you the wave over to come over to where we are now. He can't so, yeah. see you. I, I have to say this, oh. his perception is so tiny, if he's looking at oh, a point... Oh, that's right! That's, yeah, because he has a... okay. You, he, he, well, if you were... He is, a, he is like a child. Lost. He's like a baby. Uh, <laughs> if you did the, here Don't I am, worry, where I am, where, it's like, I, where am I, here am I, he would fall for that. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna have to turn to the woman then, to Pearl, and I'll be like, okay. This is your trial one, to maybe, possibly, be a trial member on this crew. Okay. Please take care, Ragnarok. Of not Ragnarok. <laughs> take care of Ra that is my nickname for him because he brings the mighty hammer of Mjolnir down to all of the peasants below. Who says I want to um, be part of your filthy pirate crew? Uh, okay, I'll we've go. We've been palling around with this all day. Listen, so I'm, I'm just here because I, I feel guilty if you guys all died. Okay, and it's not for any personal reasons. What? Fine, whatever. Just wander off and fall into the ocean. That would be <laughs> okay, lovely. All right. Okay. All right. So, uh, Verona, yeah, uh, head on out. Um, man, it's really taking that. Man, that guard's taking a long ass time. <laughs> <laughs> Is he not? Man. Um, but yeah, okay. We'll, we'll do that then. The man is very big. He's probably still walking up the stairs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, Poe wanders off to go find, uh, Ragnar, goes up to Ragnar. Hey, Ragnar! Ragnar, down here! Look ball? down! Look down! Oh! oh Hi! Sorry. Um, I, uh... This is actually the... Ball. Sorry, this is the first time that you've seen her? Because you have not looked down yet. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you, he just hears a voice that associates with her. You okay. see, you see this hooded... Girl with frizzy pink hair sticking out of the hood, uh, like piercing pink eyes. She's got sort of quite a soft face. She's very small. Uh, she's wearing a cloak and, and gloves. And she Hi, nice to meet you. You sound a lot like a, a woman I knew named uh, it's, Pebble. It's, it's me, Pearl, you <laughs> idiot. Listen. Ah, uh, yes, Pearl. Come come with me. Uh, where your captain is uh, needs you. Ah, uh, yes, I haven't seen those men in, in a, in a and, good amount um, of time. And, and, and like... Uh, Take my hand, because you'll obviously get lost without it. Wow, you actually have surprisingly big hands for uh, a tiny woman. Yeah, actually, as you as you like grab her hand, you notice that it's it's not really like it's really not hand shaped. Um, but you're so bad at like perception that includes like being able to figure things out by touching it. So uh, it's not super suspicious to you. They're just bigger than normal. Uh, okay. And she leads you along. You guys are sort of she's leading you by the hand, and you get back to William. <laughs> I think Doros is going to be jealous. <laughs> okay. So now, okay. Well, no, really. I, I would love to hold your hand too, Ragnar, anytime. 
Likewise. <laughs> Ragnar, this, you are the spirit and backbone of this crew, I must say. Thank you, William. Love you too, brother. Yes, we, we do like a bro hug sort of thing. Like, bring it in. Um, um, yeah, do you guys right. head off? Head into the, the gate is now open. So you, do you guys walk into the, into the field? The uh, area, the lawn? You know what? This guard is taking for freaking ever, so I guess hey, we should it's probably... It's not been that long. Like, any time that you guys have been talking out of character, that's not yeah. been time passed, so... Very well. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Zach. All right. Um, well, yeah, let's let's just all go together, and just the guard will just assume we left. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> you you walk into the grounds. Are you guys sneaking? Uh, I will be sneaking. Verona and Ragnar are already stealthing, so uh, William, will... are you stealthing? I is, will stealth, Is yeah. Doros coming with you? Well, this is the predicament. <laughs> you you could stay behind if you, I don't know how good you're if you could deceive the guard, but hmm, that kills, I guess. But I don't wish to leave you behind. I wish to be a part of this adventure in case anything happens. Okay, That's true. I guess Duras is going to come with us then. Uh, okay, oh, lovely. Duras, do your sneak roll. You have disadvantage. Oh, everything stealth. All right. You have minus two and dis. Okay. So you guys uh started, you know, sneaking into the mansion, and then Doris goes. <laughs> <laughs> Try taking very slow, deliberate steps. Maybe the entire work. earth shakes. <laughs> <laughs> and um, uh, you you hear like a voice from inside, but it's it's it sounds like it's very far away. Just, yeah. Um, so you have a certain amount of time to f to, to look around before someone comes out. Uh, okay. do, who wants to do a perception check to look around? Uh, I'm pretty I good at perception. I'll, 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 All right. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. Okay. Just not right now. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. The captain is the captain. Okay. You look around the side, and you actually notice uh, down the side there's a, a, a slope with stairs leading down, and a little door on the side, like um oh. to the basement. Duros, uh, how are you with stairs? I can climb stairs. I am very athletic. Do not, do not I, insult I, I, I me. Didn't say, I, I was not questioning uh, your listen, climbing ability. I, I don't think we can tr trust Duros uh, in, in this sort of department. I, th I feel like we need to be more fast than we need to be sneaky. Let's just go. Ah, fine. Very well, then. Make to it, men! And so, I guess we just all run for the stairs. <laughs> we are not pirates! We are not pirates! We're, we're, no, we we're not here for perfectly it. legal I reasons! I have a fancy hat! <laughs> I am a fisherman! <laughs> you, you, no, nothing, nothing conspicuous here! He is just a fisherman! You guys, you guys go down the stairs and you try the door, but it's locked. Um, I can pick that. Yeah, okay, go ahead and pick I it. Have, I have thieves' tools. Click your thieves' tools. Ooh. Ooh. Holy shit, dude. Are you kidding me? Two critical failures. Wow. <laughs> Even with advice. Wow. Is... All right. Wow. At this, you, you... At this point, we don't really care about being loud. We're just trying to be fast. I can just it's swing fast. my axe at this thing. Uh, so, <laughs> so, so, William, you are so bad at lock picking this door, you actually reinvent the lock into which it can never be opened again. <laughs> oh my god. I, I, I put the thing in and I like just jam it in and it snaps off and no key can ever, ever be put in this thing again. Yeah. Uh, you can still burst the door down, Ragnar, is that so, what you want to do? Okay, okay, so, I just, okay so, you know, here's how this goes I will help him down. gladly break that I, door down. I, I, I was like, don't worry, guys, I got this. And I say it all casually, like, you know, we're doing this. And, just, <laughs> and I don't say anything. I just You just hear the alarm crack as my <laughs> tools break, and I'm like, Ragnar! Plan B. <laughs> okay, so Duras or Ragnar, who's going to make the check? You have advantage because you guys are helping each other. Uh, uh, I got six strength. What do you got? Two ones. Jesus Under Christ. Athletic. You could do is... athletics for it. Oh, oh wait, athletics. Where, then that's strength? pretty good too. Yeah. Okay. Doris, you do it because so far Ragnar's been doing the right, stuff. You, so you Doris, are... you do it. You have advantage. Athletic. Okay. Yeah. You get 26, you oh, got a critical. Shit. Oh, so, you, you fail destroyed. to crack it open, and Doris pushes you to a, a side, and with the help of Ragnar, you burst the door open, it flies off its hinges, flies across the wine cellar, and you hear an ah! <laughs> and as you look in, you see, uh, you see the door has now, like, 
on the ground and you see a squashed body of a pirate up against the wall, he is dead. <laughs> <laughs> wow, <laughs> impressive of us. Wait a second, man. Very well done, Ragnar. The, that the, door stood no <laughs> chance. Ragnar, <laughs> you have bested many doors in my day, but I must say, sir, this is your magnum opus. Uh, get it open, this. <laughs> get it? Get it? <laughs> when do you get it? I don't Please know. laugh at my joke. I, 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 <laughs> he slid. Captain, this is, I, Pearl goes, mm, did you roll a critical fail again? <laughs> <laughs> I look down at the crushed body and I just, are you Stamillion, sir? Uh, the crushed body looks very much like a pirate and not like, uh, so, and it's also dead, so. Mm, yes, okay, well. You, but you do notice, he down. looks like he's... He doesn't look like, a, he doesn't look like a civilian to Picture me. Picture in your head what someone who looks like half a fisherman and half a pirate would look like. Uh, that's him. He's got a big tattoo on his arm of a worm and a big tattoo on the other of a fish. Um, he was uh, very dedicated to his craft, it seems. Duras, you must we work have... on getting a fish tattoo, apparently. That's what all the fishermen do. <laughs> uh, well, all right. I suppose I could put a tattoo on my arm. You're, you're now in this basement <laughs> area. Yeah. There's wine barrels sort of lining the walls. And okay. there is... Um, it's a long sort of rectangle room. And at the end, you can sort of see a passageway down the left. Some more stairs going down. Mm. All right. Uh, well, we've already made be... quite an entrance. I would say onwards and downwards, men. <laughs> uh, are we still not pirates, or what's going <laughs> on? <laughs> at this point, I think we could probably elevate status back po to pirates. Poe looks at Ragnarok. We are now pirates! <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're pirates again. Do I, do I keep the hat? just echo down the hall? <laughs> uh, po no, you cannot wear that hat anymore. It's I confusing. can't wear my fancy hat, no. No. You can be pirate <laughs> and fisherman. This man right here is proof of that, so... Poe looks mm, at Ragnarok. Keep the hat! <laughs> <laughs> Poe looks at Ragnar and Doris and goes, Holy shit. What? I didn't know you guys were that strong. Wow. Oh. You questioned Ragnar, breaker of doors? Ha ha ha. Well, doesn't compliment me. I see how it is, Captain, but don't and worry. No, no, I she know looked... your heart. You truly feel good about me. She said That's you guys. Right. She said, I just finished it off. She was talking to both of you. She said you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. Uh, yeah, so she, she, she looks inside the room and also goes, doesn't seem like there's anyone else here. Looks like you might have killed the one guard. Mm, one guard to guard your secret pirate base. This is amateur hour, men. I think we should. I think we should be onward. I think I, we should be all right. I feel a little bad. He could have been a great man. Oh well. Well, I mean, if you want to honor his memory, we could, you know, look through his stuff. <laughs> okay. I fail to see how that works, but sure, yes. <laughs> okay. You, <laughs> you look. Could you lift this large door off of this crushed body? <laughs> No problem at all. You lift the door up, <laughs> you place it down next to him, and you start looting his body. Uh, on him, you have uh, a key. Okay. And he has he has a key, uh, which I think is... Uh, it has three keys on it. It's a key ring with three keys on it, not a key with three keys on it. A key ring with three keys on it, uh, and he also has a fishing rod on him. Mm. Who looted the ah, body? Duros, a I fish must say, this will complete your ensemble. <laughs> Ah, yes, I am a true fisherman now. Everyone will believe my ingenious disguise. Okay. What happened to Duro? <laughs> okay. Um, it is me the, right uh, now. Don't be fooled. The, I know it's ah, quite clever. Ah, you're looking good, brother. Okay. Did the absolute destruction of the door, like, <laughs> alert anybody nearby or um, anybody upstairs or anything? So, uh, speaking of that. You are, you are, uh, you seem to be quite, you can't actually hear anything going on above you, so the voice you were hearing in the manor, you can't really hear. But on top of that, you do hear a very faint uh, sound of music, now that you're inside this room. Okay. We can't it's, tell if it's coming from above no, or below. It's, no, you can tell it's coming from below. A faint up, sound up of below. music from below. Alright, right, so uh, let's, let's just approach the stairs, look down, and see what we're working with here. <laughs> So you guys uh, start, you approach the stairs, and at the bottom of the stairs is another door. Mm. A wooden door. Well, I, I take <laughs> out the keys. Well, let us attempt this this time. I do have other thieves' tools. That was just bad Perhaps luck, you could hey, just try to almost. open it before you use keys. <laughs> <laughs> well, Duros, since you are our fisherman companion, how about, you know what, these are fishermen pirates, so perhaps they'll think that you're just attempting to join them. You might as well go first. 
Oh, very well. I will gladly see this, this might actually work. I mean, it, uh, the guard was convinced you were an actual fisherman, so this could actually work. So, yes. you walk down the stairs, clunk, clunk, clunk. <laughs> you get to the door and you try the handle, but it is locked. Do you want to try the keys? I toss yeah, the, keys the keys to Joros. Yeah, catch okay. the keys. You try the keys. The door unlocks. Okay. Do you open the door? Of course! You what other way do we have to go but forward? <laughs> you swing the door open, <laughs> and what greets Downward. you is, is a dainty little sort of stone room. Uh, you see um, a man sitting on a chair with his feet up on the desk. He has uh, like jet black hair that goes down to his shoulders like that. And he has a fisherman's hat and two other fishermen's hats on top of it. He has like, a, like an eye goggle on one eye. Um, Good lord, he's the he's the he, he, my lord. And he, he is absolutely three. He is absolutely covered in like fish and nautical related tattoos, and he's got a fishing rod. And at the end of the fishing rod, uh, <laughs> he's like got it up right, like he's fishing. And at the end of the fishing rod, it's like inside the mouth of this boy, like a 16, 17 year old boy with messy black hair, uh, who's sort of like, and he's tied up as well. Behind him stands one pirate who's, who's like yelling stuff and another pirate who is playing a violin. Well then, uh, they both hello, look fellow pirates. Hello fellow fishermen. <laughs> yes. The, I am also a fisherman. I see you have a fancy hat. May the, I join you in this particular day? You just walk in. Okay, okay. <laughs> the, the, um, the, violin, oh the violin music stops. Uh, and and the, the, the man in the chair looks over to you and goes, Oi, mate! Are you the same guy I bought on the guard? You got some nice armor, mate! Why, thank you! Uh, you have a very nice hat. Oh, I got three of them, mate. That's how they know I'm the captain. Oh, lovely. Uh, what's, what's, what do you gentlemen seem to be doing right now? May I join you? Oh, you're supposed to be guarding, mate. I don't want to feed you to the kippers like the other one. Oh, well, dang. <laughs> Listen, I'm, a, I'm a nice guy. <laughs> but I gave you a job, nice man. Do you have something to report, mate? I heard a loud sound, but I just assumed... It was something from the manor house. Oh, yes. Uh, we had uh, some entertainment lined up for you. We could uh, perhaps uh, give you something to bide your time with if you are bored. All right, my, uh, We can do that later. Right now we need to interrogate this fella. You remember the mission, right? right? Uh, oh, would you please remind me? Uh, well... <laughs> What do you mean, remind you, Mike? I, I, can, I, I, I can answer, I can speak up at this point. Oh. Yeah. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna peek my head just around Duros and just scoot into the room, and I'd be like, Good, good evening, gentlemen. I am the new chief guard of the manor. Um, I was just wondering, I, I was sent down here just to make sure that everything was going as he it He gets should. up from the chair. Yes. Oi, boys! We've been riding out! The man at the manor knows we're here! Bring the lad, we gotta well, get out of here! And then he... That did not work. So, <laughs> Duros, you take that man with the fishing cap. I shall okay. take the violin. So, uh, this is going to be your first actual combat. So, this okay, is how it's cool. going to go down. Yeah. Uh, in actual combat, you guys will take turns to do your moves and stuff. And so, how that starts is you guys will do this thing where you guys roll for initiative. I was disappointed. I could not get a good conversation out of the man with the hat. <laughs> <laughs> you think the pirates were underneath the mayor's house with the mayor's permission? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, possibly. He runs, a, he runs a town where you kill anybody for cr crimes. He might be in on yeah, it. Yeah. To describe what the scene looks like right now is Duros and William have gone through the door. Ragnar, Pearl, and Verona, you are immediately behind them, still on the stairs. Um, mm -hmm. But the door is now wide open, so you guys can see that in. And mm -hmm. the room is relatively small, so you'd be able to run up and reach them. Uh, there's Rodney's behind the desk. There is another pirate behind him. He's got a flintlock pistol. And there's another pirate who only has a violin. And there's a boy on the ground tied up. Okay. So, Ragnar, you begin. What do you want to do? You can move up to 30 feet. So, that's, you can move. Pretty and much the whole length of the room there. Yeah, pretty much. Ha, ha, ha. Ragnar walks into the room. So, you push. I may not be the smartest, but I realize where this is going. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you push the others out of the way and you start walking towards him. Do you want to... Do you want to attack him? Who are you attacking? Um, so you said there's a pistol guy, a violin guy, and what else? What and, else? Uh, and Rodney. 
Polduck, the guy with the the guy that just talked to you with the with the okay. rod. With the rod. Um, I think I'm gonna go with the violin guy. So I, Ragnar walks in, smart enough. <laughs> we are not pirates, but I'm ready to go down. <laughs> <laughs> I might. What the fuck? There's so much more of yours. Uh, Ragnar swings at the violin guy in a rage. All right, roll to hit him. Roll your axe. <laughs> it's music, Ragnar. Why? <laughs> he, he starts playing the music as as, as the battle begins. Okay, oh, so God. on your sheet you, you <laughs> click the button that says. Uh, oh, there it is. It was just delayed. So you miss him. So <laughs> oh, you, Ragnar, you go, no. You swing down your axe, and the violin guy like gracefully dodges out the way whilst still playing the violin. <laughs> and he looks down at you. Uh, then it's going to be the pirate's turn. Uh, the one without the violin. He turns around to you immediately as you swing your axe. He pulls out his pistol and he fires one shot. Uh, Twelve. Does that a hit, does that hit you? What is your armor class? Fifteen. So he fires off the shot and it sort of pings off. <laughs> How do you have higher armor class than me? Who has off armor? my bare skin. <laughs> <laughs> No, they say his skin is as tough as a door. As a door. No, but your armor class should be higher. Actually, your armor class should be eighteen. Oh, it's eighteen. I'm sorry. Okay, yeah. okay. I was it, wondering it, what it, the fuck. Bing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's like, he That's looks at you, dumbfounded. Uh, it's now yeah. Captain's turn. He unhooks the hook on the guy and goes, "All right, mates, you guys want to do it like that?" Uh, he flings it over, and he. <laughs> He sends out his fishing rod, uh, his hook, over to Captain William. Uh-oh. Uh, oh boy. Let's see if it hits. 13, does that hit you, Captain William? Uh, I have an armor class 14. So, so no. he, f he flings the fishing rod out, but you manage to dodge out of the way of it as it clangers against the ground. He goes, oh, mate, that ain't cool. Uh, <laughs> it's, not, it's not the violin pirate's turn. He turns around, still playing the violin, do -do 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 -do, and he goes to try and uh, kick Ragnar. Uh, he got a six, so he misses. Uh, Duros, it's now your turn. You're standing there, full you armor, mean? shield up. Me. Shield up. I will, um, I will smack the... I should probably just take on the big guy for it. Yeah, I'll, I'll go for the big guy. Rodney? Uh, the... Yeah, Rodney. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so you, you, like, shove the table out of the way, and you run up to Rodney, and you, uh, get out your mace. You That's right. Him. Mace to the face. Battle. Finally, something to test my metal with. Come at me, my friends. All right. Let us do beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Click the mace button. Let's go. You actually miss him. Everyone's fucking missing. Everyone's so missing. You swing it's at his head, battle. and he dodges. He goes, "I right, might close, but no cigar." <laughs> uh, <laughs> William, you're up now. You're standing there. Everyone's swinging at each other, flailing. Nobody's hitting a goddamn thing. Um. So I, I I'm a rogue now. I've never done this. Sneak attack thing before, but yeah, I attempt the sneak attack. Uh, you would be yes. able to do it on either Rodney or the violinist because they're right next to some. Yeah. All right, let's 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 do it on uh, let's let's Rodney. All right. Okay. You 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 sort of come in from the side with your cutlass and you're about to slash yes. into Rodney. You hit him. So you do yeah you do a solid eight damage. You take him by surprise. Okay. Whereabouts are you cutting him? Uh, I'm gonna aim for uh, his his side, like right here. Yeah, like, just you, to like jam it in, like in the, like. Yeah, I'm trying right, to get as many important <laughs> organs as possible on my way up. Right, right as you duck, right, right as he ducks to avoid Doris's yeah. warhammer, you come in from the side and slice a good wound up the side of him, blood dripping down the side. Yeah, he, so essentially his kidney. He yeah. goes, "Oh my!" <laughs> he yells out in pain. Uh, I'm not your mate, mate. He's not down for the count, but he is pretty wounded. It is now Pearl's turn. Poe walks down the stairs and sort of uh, pushes pushes Doris to the side like a hand on Doris and he, she takes off one of her gloves and she goes, oh, fucking useless. And um, you notice that her <laughs> hand is, uh, looks a tiny bit like a claw hmm. and um, like, a, like, like talon, sort of like a talon claw. And she goes in and she swipes with her claw at Rodney. Uh, she misses though. <laughs> <She's>, <laughs> she swipes with a claw at Rodney. Your accuracy is die. just as good as mine, my lady. She swipes with her claw hand, and Rodney manages to dodge out the way. A bit more alert now that he's been stabbed in the side. Uh, you guys are now all surrounding him. Uh, Verona, it is your turn. Okay, so I'm still in the doorway, correct? I haven't let, went into the room. Uh, so yes. From this doorway, do I have like 
a straight visual on any of the enemies. Like, uh, is there anybody that I can, like, if I were to just walk straight forward, they would be right there. Uh, yes, the violinist and Rodney. Okay, then I am just going to take my rifle from the stairs mm -hmm. and take a shot at the violinist. <laughs> okay, <laughs> shoot your shot. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> the violinist. Yeah, you just hit the violinist. Huh, I knew Good. something smelled fishy. You fire off your musket. The bullet flies through the air. The violinist looks over at the bullet as it pierces him through the heart. Blood spurts out of his mouth. He starts playing. The poor violinist. He was dedicated to his craft to the very end. I so Such a beautiful sound. Well done, Verona. I did not trust that man a little bit. I hate the violin. <laughs> and he drops to the ground dead. Um, you killed him. Killed that man. Uh, it is, but it's now the pirate's turn. After seeing his his man get fucking shot, he then turns around with his pistol, pulls out his gun, um, and shoots you. This time hitting you. Uh, uh -oh. Uh -oh. Six damage in your shoulder. Blood splurts Ooh. out. Ah. Uh. <laughs> that uh, really hurt. And now, Ragnar, it's your turn again. Currently, the violinist that you were by lies on the ground, dead. His violin in hand. Uh, who shot at? Who shot at? Um, the other uh, pirate, Verona? not Rodney. The other pirate that was behind. Um, no, Verona. Ragnar swings his axe at his uh, at the guy who shot him. Okay, Ross a hit. You come. You hit him this time. You swing your axe at the guy who shot him. Do the damage. Holy shoot. <laughs> In one clean cut, you behead this man. His head comes, separates from his body and flies up into the air. Making a, just actually goes, flies so far into the air, it smashes against the ceiling. Blood spraying everywhere, and then he Jesus. drops to the ground, dead. One piece got dark. Man. <laughs> yeah, really. Rod Rodney looking around like, oh my, this ain't good. Uh, it's now his turn. He's looking around. Um, Oi, you look like the captain, right? You got a big hat? I do have a big hat, and you have a very large kid wound. I, would I also have a hat. <laughs> he, he does, in fact. In fact, your hat would look good on my friend Duris's head here. He turns. I would suggest you do not continue. He this pulls battle. out. A, he pulls out a small dagger, and he goes okay. in to to stab you. Okay. He critically oh, nice. hits you. He, he, he like pierces you oh, with such that finesse. Was that uh, was my suggestion. You don't have to worry. The dagger doesn't do that much damage itself. Yeah, it's just like one d four. But yeah. yeah, yeah. So it does six damage. Okay. Uh, but now, can you do a constitution saving throw for me? This is the first saving throw of the campaign. Oh, you succeed. <laughs> oh. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> you, you, he, you, he looks up at you with the, bullet, uh, with the bullet, with the dagger perfectly in your chest. He's perfectly placed it. He looks, he's like, Hi, am I? Now the poison must be seeping through your system. You must be feeling sleepy, right? Go to bed, um, boys. I, I feel like you just stabbed me in the chest. I feel that. Oh, no, nobody's ever resisted and I that. I feel like you're not going to be long for this world. No one harms Captain Swindlin William Elnome. All right, now hey, it's Duris. It's Duris's turn. <laughs> My captain! No, I did not protect you in time. I shall vanquish this mightily with my warhammer. That is fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go in with your warhammer. Uh, he yeah. still has the dagger, like, in place in do, William's body. Do I body. take it out or do I leave it in? <laughs> um, you, you, you miss him, though. I, I, choose, I, I, choose I am to not good at hitting. Now. I'm sorry, <laughs> my captain. <laughs> uh, so, uh, he still has the dagger in place. He sees the Warhammer come, and he manages to, to keep duck. And now he's, like, sort of crouched on the ground. S um, it is William's turn. Uh, well, you know... Take a penny for a penny. I shoot him in the face. <laughs> okay, you got sneak attack damage on that as well because uh, of Doris being there by your side. Yeah, gotcha. I'm there for moral support. Pull out your gun. <laughs> it should be right underneath your cutlass, your gun. Oh, yeah. You pull out your weapon. Shoot. Didn't mean to bring that up. Um, did, it, did it come up? 
Uh, okay, eleven. It doesn't hit him. Damn it! Um, so you pull out you you pull out your pistol. You aim it at his face, and as as you are pushing down on the trigger, he sort of his head uh, ducks out of the way, and he pulls the dagger out in the process. Uh, it is now Pearl's time to shine. Pearl looks over. Uh, she brings up her her claw. Uh, what the hell is her claw? There it is. She brings up her claw. And fucking strikes him down. Uh, oh, she did it! Very good job there, Pearl. Um, the claw digs into the captain's behind, uh, blood dripping down from the side. But he is not quite dead. He looks very wounded. He drops down. He coughs up a little bit of blood, but he is not quite dead. He goes, "Yeah, you take that, you ruffian." Uh, uh, Verona. Yes, is... ruffian. The exact word that I would use after one stabbed me. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it is your turn, Viorana. So the one question I have is my rifle like a single shot type where I'm gonna uh, have to like take forever to reload it real quick? No, it, you use your bonus action to reload it, so you'll be fine. Yeah, okay. I mean, yeah, just the, the guns in one piece, they're not like, they're not, they're shaped <laughs> yeah. like muskets, but they could fire them like honestly, like semi-automatic rifles sometimes, so it, it's cool. You can, True. you can see Rodney on the ground with claws in his back, um, if so, you want to take your shot. I'm gonna kind of like stumble down to the stairs, so I'm in the doorway now. You know, yeah, yeah. slowly getting back up, shoulder gushing blood. Lift up the rifle, mm -hmm, point mm -hmm. it at the guy on the ground, and take a shot. All right, take the shot. <laughs> you miss him. <laughs> F. <laughs> this is <laughs> true. Is not oh, gifted no. in the art of the of of the sniper. The armor. I need His to make a hole in my helmet. <laughs> His armor class is not even that high, but everyone just keeps missing him. <laughs> uh, I love how there's a guy that's bleeding out right in front of us, and we just can't for the life you, of us. <laughs> you fire the shot, <laughs> and it whizzes past his ear and and um, hits the wall behind him. Uh, Ragnar, it's your turn. Ragnar, Ragnar takes a step towards his opponent. I am tired of this prolonged battle. <laughs> I am as well, Ragnar, please. <laughs> please, Ragnar, please. <laughs> please. Can I swing my great axe, Rustage? Swing your great axe. <laughs> you miss him. <laughs> oh. As you swing the great axe down, he rolls out of the way and he gets up. Blood pouring out of his side and his back. Now, come now, sir. You're just prolonging the inevitable here. I am right. I'll never back down. I'd rather die here than give in to you lot. I... I'm trying to get useful information out of this fella. What do you guys even want with him? What are you guys even doing here? You kidnapped a man from his father. We are merely here to return him in exchange for a ship. Oi, don't be like that. Well, we're gonna fucking return him. Return him, mate, once he tells us exactly what we need to fucking know. Wait, that hell, is let's... neither my, that is not my concern. It seems much quicker to just simply kill you and then return him to his father. And so that's what we shall do. All right, mate, well, uh, say this. Hey, hey, dickhead. <laughs> Will you tell us now? Never! Well, guess I'm so gonna have to. So he's continuing to intimidate. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> so so I, I I guess I've gotta I've gotta fucking kill you guys. Easy enough. He yeah, you brings... seem like in a position where you can kill us. I mean, granted, you are squirming around pretty damn well, but we have you outnumbered five to one. So oh, I know how these sort of things work. Kill the pirate. Rest of you, re kill the captain. Rest of you, retreat. He brings out his fishing rod, which actually makes contact with your flesh. The fishing oh, rod crap. digs into Can your I shoulder. Roll to protect him. Go ahead. Uh, oh. Yeah. So you don't roll. Do so that. you you give him protection, which gives him disadvantage on the attack, uh, okay. which means oh. he he still hits. <laughs> he gets a twenty-one. Okay. Yeah, okay. No, I mean, he, he gets, gets a twenty, 20. instead of the. He, he we just get the. 20. He still gets the twenty. Gotcha. So. Um, Dang. Uh, yeah, you try and block the fishing roll, but you aren't quite fast enough. The the hook hooks through your captain's shoulder, dealing eight damage. Ah! Okay, so I'm dying. Uh, does that knock you unconscious? <laughs> okay, so I had 11 hit points. Uh, so, lost yeah, six dead. from the first attack. Well, no, that's not how we have... Yeah, yeah, that's how... So this is how... I don't yeah, I, I don't. You don't die when you hit zero. That's yeah, not yeah. how it works. So, as for player characters, when you hit zero, you go unconscious. You're at risk of dying, but you're not quite dead. So... You uh, can't do the saving throw on that, so you're, he reels your unconscious body towards him. Yeah, really quick. Hold on, let me just do this. So I have minus three right now. Okay. Yeah. 
He reels okay. your unconscious body towards him and he goes, All right, mate, see what I fucking did to your captain. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking end him. I'm gonna, gonna fucking kill him. So don't you dare. <laughs> uh, Duras, it's your turn. Your captain has just oh. been knocked unconscious in front of you by a fishing rod. <laughs> by a fishing rod. Fishing. <laughs> wow, that is an incredible feat you have there. But I still Oi, but I'm wearing to... I'm wearing shoes. How would you know that? Shoes? Oh, oh feet. <laughs> yeah, I get it. <laughs> yeah, I get it. Right. Well, very well. Uh, but I too can throw. Yeah, well, but can I can I throw my hammer or hand? You can axe throw your hand what? axe. Okay, hand axe. Chuck your hand okay. axe. All right. Oh, please, please hit him. You critically oh! hit him with the hand axe. The hand axe you flies to the air. Captain. Do that, do that damage, but it will probably kill him. Do the damage anyway. Freaking head splitter. H how do I do the damage? Click the word now? hand axe. Oh yeah, you haven't hit anything yet. Yeah, you click the word hand axe in the chat. Hand axe in the chat. You see in the chat in the on the right hand next side. Next to your roll. Oh, it's next to my roll. Wait, what? In the side inside the box, what you rolled. So there's the twenty six. If you're not you're actually on the chat. Yeah, go up to the top where you press the newspaper and click on the little bubbles. I, I'm trying to, but it's, I got like this black line, like I think blocking it or something here. Yeah, uh, I, can't, I can't actually click it. Oh no. It? Okay, someone else can do it. Okay, uh, don't worry. William's got you. Oh, well, now I can hit it. Now okay. I can do it. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, you do it. Okay, yeah, you did better than uh, William you did. You did better than me anyway. Okay, for, so yeah. you ch how do you want to kill? How do you want to do this? How do you want to kill him? I. I said, no, my captain. And I was just like, well, if you can throw, I can throw too. So I just chuck my, I, I guess I have a hand axe. So I was going to yeah. do my hammer. Yeah, but, yeah. All right. All right. So I throw my hand axe directly clean into between his eye sockets, freeing <laughs> my captain from his grasp. And he just, it's in his eyes and he, he just stands there for a second and then immediately just drops to the ground and goes, I might. <laughs> what a throw, Duros. Uh, uh, I'm unconscious, so yes, I can't He's still say unconscious. That. You guys still yeah. have that first aid kit uh, that you <laughs> retrieved, so if someone wants to use that. Does anyone? Uh, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. Don't well, we well, have I, that I can't, healing I'm not good at using that you guys first talked aid. about? Yeah. Was well, <laughs> the other pirate in critical condition still, like, kicking, or what happened with him? No, the, all, think... all three pirates are dead. Oh, okay. dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, so, yeah, do you, does someone want to patch up? Use the first aid kit. It only really has a sort of limited amount of useless. I have no but... idea how to use this. It's all you, bud. I have zero medicine roll. How good is yours? Might as well try. You, you just need above a 10. So, right. you have a 50% right. chance. I will hear you, my captain. I cannot stand you in this sight. I will try to save you. You don't. Uh, Verona. Damn it. <laughs> yeah. Verona, do you want to try? Am I able to give it a shot? Yeah, give uh, it a shot. Uh, let, give me that. Let me let me try this. Uh. You also don't. So you're still unconscious. Uh, all right. Oh. I, I, can, I can try to make a death save. Yeah. Is Pearl good at medicine? Uh, uh, I can try. <laughs> uh, do you want me to try? I can try. I have, Please, I, have a, I have a dagger wound and I just have a fishing hook stuck in my shoulder. Okay, I, I can try. She succeeds. Because uh, oh, it's a first aid kit and not like regular bandages, right. you do get health so that, back like, from like, that. Like, like, Alright, cool, so, so that, that just like stabilizes back. me. Uh, so. No, no, this is the really good first aid kit you forgot from the marine, so it does actually heal you. Oh, all uh, the way? Uh, no, not all the way. Uh, you get five, so you're on five oh, okay. hit points now. Okay, plus the minus three I had. So no, no, the minus okay, three doesn't so. matter. That's the okay, the so minuses are only okay, keep gotcha. track because if you get to minus eleven, then you die. Then I die yeah. immediately. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. If you lose hit points equal to your total hit points, I mean, like, like minus, it. like yeah, yeah, yeah. if I was minus eleven, I'd be dead outright. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. So all right, I uh, I get up and I'm like, ah, oh, oh god, oh god. <laughs> You'll be okay. Oh, I knew I'd. Does have anybody to... have a pair of of scissors? I knew I'd have to fucking be here to. Heal you up. Um, I have a very well gone, done there, Pearl. She I, you're not proud of you. Okay, look, I still don't trust you, but you saved my ass. So she puts her glove one. back on and goes, None of you saw anything. Oh, we did. And we're going to bring that up later, but for right now, I thank you. So I, I cut the line so I'm no longer tethered to the rod. I'll just, I'll just leave the hook in me for now. <laughs> I guess. You ever try to get a. You ever try to get a fishing hook out of your hand? It's a, it's, it's, it's terrible. A, it's I mean, they're designed really for hooking. It. Yeah, it's the, awful. The man on the ground oh, goes, gone. Who? 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 All right, all right, dude, dude. Okay, God, I got a headache. All right, D Duros, cut the guy down or whatever. 
<laughs> sure thing, Captain. I will gladly aid this man in his time of need. <laughs> oh, God. I gotta sit down for a second, guys. <laughs> I, I, hopefully, I don't need to roll anything just to no, save no, this. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, you're good. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> All four of us. He has, he, has, uh, he has tape over his mouth. Okay. If you want to. Men, I also believe after we have this little, uh, after we're done with this little incursion, we need, um, we need target practice, all of us. First <laughs> thing. First Agreed. thing, we're going to hit the targets. <laughs> well, I, I hit it when it mattered. <laughs> That's all. Okay, so you, you, uh, are you going to take the tape off his mouth or untie him? Yeah, I'll take the tape right off his mouth. There you go, oh, friend. Thank Speak. you. Oh, thank you so much, mister. Thank you so much for saving my life. Uh, I wasn't going to talk. I wasn't going to talk, and they would have killed me, but... Uh... I knew. I no longer really care about that. You cut out for me, he says. Yeah, cut out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, what, what is your name, boy? Uh, my name is Similian. Ah, well, then we are here from your father to bring you back to his care. Oh, you will I now be in the accompaniments of my merry men. Um, I'm just going to take a second here. To... Uh, but my, my name oh. is Duros, not Mary. <laughs> <laughs> I, knew, I knew he would... Uh, Normally I would be filled with glee <coughs> and mirth. However, right now I'm feeling too well. <laughs> I, I knew he would um, not forget me. Yes. Man, I anyway, made a... Um, so yes, you will come back with us, but first, um, does anyone want- I am taking this violin! I am- I, I actually really like the violin. <laughs> Is there any other medical supplies in here? His shoulder's really starting to hurt, You can- guys. Pearl comes over and goes like, we still got- I mean, there's only limited uses of this first aid kit, so- Verona, you got shot in the shoulder. I took a fishing hook in the shoulder. I think we know which one is <laughs> we, we might need to buy some me more medical supplies but i'll do this on you we, now we, um we she... do does he have any money on them or anything pearl anything pearl gets up the like the scalpel and she's like i'll just try and take the bullet out of your shoulder <laughs> <laughs> jesus <laughs> oh i'm so sorry she stabs it straight into your shoulder <laughs> oh no <laughs> i'm so sorry she just like wait hold on muscle uh, cartilage nerve uh, <laughs> Oh no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Why would you do that? Uh, I just tried to help. I tried to get the bullet out. I'm not super trained at this sort of thing. I, I never okay. had medical training. Yeah, it's okay. None of us are either. None By the way, I was, considering you, I was considering you for doctor for about five seconds there, but after that routine... Uh, <laughs> I mean, I can learn. Samelian, <laughs> how are you with the skills with surgery and the like? <laughs> I'm 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 not too bad. Uh, I, I can I can get a crack at it. Well, you're higher on the the, the list for but also, doctor. But um, also, if we just go back, we we can like yes, we you could stay at our place. I'm sure my dad would be fine. Rest up for the night. I'm sure you'll all yes, be better. We, 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 oh, that we sounds like back. a lovely time. That sounds like a great time. We can rest uh, up from and recover from our dagger and fishing hook and bullet wounds. <laughs> um, Oh, thank you. Oh, who wants to take who wants to take his fishing rod? Apparently, this fishing rod is incredibly dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, there well, I have somebody here, you your fishing head. hats. I don't know how many hats I need, but I can take them all. I uh, are any of you proficient in using the fishing rod as a weapon? Uh, I mean, I, Duros is a fisherman, clearly. So. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to use a fishing rod as a weapon. How, how would we I know? Mean, the, um, None of you are. <laughs> it's what oh, okay. It is. All right. Fair I don't enough. Think so uh, we can sell it. It's well, a nice actually, fishing rod. Uh, yeah. We can sell it to Mort. It's true. Take the fishing rod. <laughs> so, yeah. Take All the fishing right. rod. It's nice. Take the fishing rod. Why not? Right. Uh, yeah. So okay. He um, he gets up. He's sort of he's covered in wounds and stuff. And he's like, "Thank you so much, guys." Ah, <laughs> uh, he's coughing up blood and stuff. Uh, I'm proud of myself, you know. Bunch of ruthless cutthroat pirates. I would never give him something like that. I made a promise to my dad, you know. Yes, your dad seems like an honor-bound individual. He's giving mm. us a ship for safe return. Oh, is he? Wow. What a nice man. I knew he would come for me. Yes. I knew it. I mean, two days passed and I got a little worried. I thought he'd bust in here himself, but... I'm yes, glad. he does have a magnificent mustache. It could take that door down in three, three pounds or less. I'm sure. <laughs> well, I can go back and I can, I'll be safe, and I can tell okay. him I never, my lips stayed shut the entire time. 
So uh, you want to just well, take yes, them back? Yes, you had tape you? on them. I mean, yeah, that is true. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, they could still. They, hate. You couldn't really talk when you have tape over your mouth. They yes, done. yes, they, they didn't really no, think that through, did they? They were waiting for me to nod my head. They're not idiots. We should probably get out of here before more these guys show up. Yeah. What What are your names? I'm glad you're not ruffians like. I am fellas. Captain Williams, sir. No. Oh. A pirate. They call I am Duros. We did not say that, but yes, we're pirates. <laughs> oh, you must be one of those good pirates my dad tells me about. You know the ones that aren't. You know you guys do piracy, but like you don't fucking well, kidnap and torture people like me just for some treasure. Anyway. Kidnapped, no. Kidnapped, no. Murder, I think you can clearly see, yes. Yeah, but they were bad thugs. I would have killed them, too. Ah, uh, fair enough, fair enough. You guys wouldn't torture, though. You wouldn't torture for just some treasure. Nah, torture is such a messy business unless absolutely necessary. I look over at Pearl as I say that. <laughs> <laughs> What's the point of torture if your opponent can't attack back? Yeah, that's true. You know, if you I had the opportunity... interesting points, but I prefer to protect the innocent and weak <laughs> and, ser and serve justice to those who are vile. The true pirate way, the free man's code. Uh, that's very honorable of you. Thank, thank... Well, let, let's get going. How did All you right. guys find this place? Ah, uh, it's quite a story, but you don't need to mind that. All right, so, um... Yeah, do we just do we just leave the uh Okay. You go yeah. back to the to the entrance uh of the okay. thing and right now grab the couple bottles of wine on the way out. <laughs> Barrels <laughs> be... yeah. No, we're in the cellar. There's gotta be some bottles. Come on. Glass bottles, yes. Yeah, yeah there are, yeah, they do yeah, they do. They put um, wine in bottles. Yeah, they do, uh, yes. So you shut down my ale, but you're not shutting down my wine. You boy. you guys um walk out and you notice there's the guard who's standing you can just kind of see, not right now, but you can kind of see from the stairs, the guard standing by the gate. Um, inside, inside the gate or outside the gate? Inside the gate, he's looking at it, it's, it's open, and he's, he's like looking at it, and he's sort of like looking at the lock, and he's got his finger in his mouth, like, hmm. Uh, he's like, alright, well, <laughs> uh, we could try to escape through like, you know, scaling the fence, or we could just, you know, I mean, we could just rush the guy and just hurry up and just get out of here. <laughs> the fence isn't super t tall if you guys want to try it. Plus, Ragnar is right. very strong. All right. If you guys well, want, I could throw you over, but uh, <laughs> Veroda doesn't look like uh, he's in the could position do, to, to uh, do that. Could I do acrobatics? Yeah, you can do acrobatics. Uh, 11's fine. Yeah. 11 would get you over just clumsily. Yeah, okay. So you, you sort I of... Do have a, I do have an injury. Yeah, yeah, of course. You, like, clumsily get over the fence. Um, uh, Pearl is going to do the same thing. Okay. Um, she's going to try. Really? No one wants me to throw them? <laughs> oh, I, mean, I may need you because I'm not very acrobatic. Pearl gracefully <laughs> gets over the fence. She, like, does a flip as well, and she lands <laughs> really nicely on the other side. No no need to be fancy now. You, we, we, we know. Uh, you don't have a fishing hook in your shoulder. We get it. Uh, <laughs> I am not getting thrown again. I will try to get over myself. All right, do acrobatics if you're, if you're like... Okay, and you, okay. you managed to, like, fling yourself over in a, in a nice way, similar to how Poe did it. <laughs> uh, okay. Finally, someone heavy. Let's go. A challenge. All right. Let's are you, go. Are you Shoot throwing Duras? Okay, Ragnar, you have disadvantage on this roll. Because he okay, is... So I'm still using athletics, right? Athletics, you have disadvantage. Okay. Wait, what? Oh. Uh, 12. Oh. 12, you throw him slightly, and he does go up into the air, but then he lands in the grounds behind the gate. <laughs> he doesn't quite make the distance. Ha ha ha, sorry, Daryl. <laughs> oh, it's all right, it was a good effort. I had fun. <laughs> uh... So how do we get over the gate? That's Looks a... like we're gonna have to do it the old-fashioned way, eh, Duro? <laughs> ah, yes! I could, a now... Oh, God. The, the, the way that this is laid out, is it like the manor in the center, and then is it just like a square gate, like, all the way around? Uh, yes. Like this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Could I possibly... So, let's say the guard is, like, you know, at this point, and we're, like, off to the side here trying yeah, yeah, to yeah. sneak over. Couldn't I just sneak over here and try to cause a distraction so the guard comes over this way? 100% you could. Okay, I'm gonna go try that then. Okay, you go to uh, the other side. I'm going to uh, just take off my flintlock and just fire, fire it into it. the air. Okay, and then you okay. quickly run back. And, and then quickly run the fuck back, like, book immediately. Doris okay. and Ragnar, do you guys 
go to the exit immediately. You see the guard. He notices the gunfire. He runs outside and runs to the um, opposite side of the manor. So he... Only one way forward, eh, Ragnar? Ragnar and friend. Ragnar and Doris charge for the gate and they run out the front. You I guys... wonder who shot that pistol. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes, I'm not sure who did it. <sighs> but um, I'm sure he is a rather dashing individual, perhaps a captain of a pirate crew, if I do say so myself. I do know my flintlock pistol fires quite expertly. Uh, we should probably get out of here post haste. Okay, so you guys are running down the mountain and you run back into town and you, you, yeah. you just sort of, I assume, you're quickly going to the shipwright. Yeah. So you get him back as quickly mm -hmm. as possible. Yeah. You arrive at the shipwright, and the, the, the boy, uh, you sort of go through the archway, and immediately a civilian sees his dad. He goes, Father! And he runs up and, and hugs him. And his dad, seeing him, a little tear comes up in his eyes, and he grabs okay. his son by the head and goes, Oi, my boy! Okay. Uh, he looks up and he's like, having, familiar. I, I want to say, <sighs> while they're having this conversation, this reunion, I take out the violin and just play it. <laughs> I don't uh, know what I would roll oh for God. that. I am my not boy. proficient at playing a violin. Performance, I guess. Thank you. <laughs> oh, you are so fucking good at that, yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, no, yeah. Captain, I hate the violin, and that was beautiful. <laughs> Beauti <laughs> beautiful music. I just, I've never played one of these before. I just shotgunned it, but okay. My, mm. Thank you, everyone. You brought my boy back to me. I don't know how I could ever repay you. This means the world to me. Boy, you do not require us. I mean, you do not owe us anything. Your father, though, made us a very generous. Sure, <laughs> he will make good on. I, I, I'll get the ship ready for you tomorrow, and you ah, can stay at excellent. my place. Oh, and uh, boy, why did they try and uh kidnap you in the first place? Uh, Dad, it's that treasure map that you have. They wanted to. They found out about it. They were trying to get it. They're trying to interrogate me to get it. Boy, your life isn't worth that treasure map. I would have not been disappointed if you told. If you told, if you told them about it. You stupid boy. <laughs> we felt like it was none of our business, really. But treasure map, you say, son? Uh, oh, sorry, father. <laughs> you told me, you asked the question. And he, uh, the father puts his head, hand on the head of the boy and goes, No, no worries, son. You know what? We weren't going to do anything with it anyway. And I am forever grateful that they returned you. He turns around and goes, Listen, let's make another deal. Mm. Uh, we found this treasure Terms. map. It was uh, buried underneath the island somewhere. Uh, actually, it was my father who found it. Passed it through generations. We thought one of us would venture forth into the ocean, but alas, we are mere shipwrights. Um, yes. He goes. The, the, he, the sea can be a cruel thing. Yes. He walks over to a, uh, like a little lock box that he has on one of his desks, and he he opens it up, and he pulls out a map, and he comes over, and he goes, "Do you guys know what a devil fruit is?" Uh, we have heard t we have heard tale of such a thing. I once again just turn to Pearl very carefully and then <laughs> look look back at the ship. Right. <laughs> right. I don't know whether I believe it or not, but my father told me and he hands the treasure map down to you, that this leads to one of them. And then we do a to be continued. Okay. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> Thank you very much, everyone, for, for playing with me. Yes. That I played so much fun. fun. Um, Blessed time. Yeah, I love that. That was great. That was freaking amazing.